Woo 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 woo! What is up? <laughs> That's what we is do. That That's intro? what we do here. We go woo 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 woo! That's like a, it's like a white as kids <laughs> thing. Oh, it is. I thought it was a uh, insane clown posse thing. No, that's woo woo. <laughs> Whitest kids. It's woo 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 woo. All right. Uh, hey guys, it's me, Sam Brown. You know me from doing all the streams this weekend, and I'm with my friend Wade Randolph. Hello. Yep, it's me, the yellow shirt guy from. Was it yesterday? Friday. Was that? that wasn't yesterday. Friday. Uh, uh, it's, it's happy to, I'm happy to be here. It's good to be here. You heard us talking about it on Friday and now it's happening on Sunday. Wade's here, here with us on trailer boys, 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 boys. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, this is trailer boys. If this is your first time, uh, this is a show where we watch movie trailers cause we like. We like movies, but you know what we like movies better than movies? Two-minute versions of movies that don't tell you everything, but tell you enough that you want to see the thing. Yeah, have you noticed that a lot of trailers these days will just, it seems like they give you the entire plot? Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Have you talked about that on here? I mean, sometimes we'll be like, well, that gave us too much. I don't have to see the movie. I think that's something that trailers have always done, though. I mean, like, that's just like... Yeah, I don't probably, think that's yeah. a new invention. Uh, I, you know, recently I saw a movie that I showed on a trailer here before. Uh, I watched the, this is out, like you can get it, uh, uh, movies before, while they're in theaters. This movie called Riders of Justice with Mads Mikkelsen. I loved it. I actually, it, uh... I watched two movies. I watched... Man, Wrath of Man with um, Jason Statham, the new Guy Ritchie movie. Have you heard of this? Yeah, um, I you I you you were telling me about it uh, the other oh. day. So wait, we talked about this on the thing, on the the stream. No, no, already? no, oh. we talked about it at, at uh, Spit. Oh, okay. I think I watched. Did I tell you about the Mads Mikkelsen one? Because I think I watched that after we were at Spitz. Uh. I don't think you did. What's the, yeah, I what's think, the I think concept of that? It's, uh, well, the, the Jason Statham one is just like one of these John Wick type movies. It's just, it's just, it's fine. It's, it's cool. It's like a fun. Yeah, I mean, when you see Jason Statham, you immediately know what you're getting, right? Yeah, yeah. And it, it, the movie is exactly that. It is nothing more, nothing less than a Jason Statham movie. But the Mads Mikkelsen one is like the anti version of that. It's like, uh, uh, it is about, like, what it, what happens is Mads Mikkelsen's this soldier and his wife and daughter are in this plane, or not plane, uh, train crash in Estonia. And the, um, there's a guy who gave his wife her seat and the wife dies and the guy that gave her wife the seat is this expert on statistics and he goes to he goes to Mads Mikkelsen and he's like I want you to know that uh there was a guy on the train that was supposed to testify in this big trial next week against this biker gang riders of justice and it is statistically impossible that this is a a coincidence and they start looking into it and the guy in the the thing has brother is like a train engineer and so they're and uh they so it's like these three like nerds basically teaming up with like a john wick type to get revenge for uh this guy's this guy's uh uh dead wife and i can't think of a, a more straightforward way to uh kill somebody than to cause a train accident <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it's a good way to to like do the hit, especially your your. Uh, but I don't. You got to see it. Uh, you, you, it's it's a really cool movie, and it's really like like all these movies, these John Wick movies, they're all about like someone 
losing something and wanting revenge. And this one's like that, but also it talks about the grieving process, which those movies really never do. <laughs> right. And so it's funny that like it's like really like this look about how people grieve. But like I don't know, it's fucking awesome. It's like a very what's interesting the, wait, what's weird the, movie. That's the Mads Mads, Mads Mikkels. Mikkels. What's that one called? Uh, Riders of Justice. Okay. Uh, I suggest you watch it. You got to read subtitles, but it's it's really fun and it's really like it's funny because oh, it's subtitles. It, it's funny though because it's like imagine if John Wick had like, three people on the spectrum that he had to, like, bring around with him to everything. Like, there's, like, one guy who's, like, this, like, face expert. He's, like, an expert on, like, uh, facial recognition. And he's, like, this big, like, fat guy who, like, whenever he says hello, he, like, looks down and shakes like that. And uh, it's, it's like, like genuinely a funny movie. It, it's, it's just fun. It's good. Uh, I don't know. If it if it's if it's successful, I'll just wait for the American version where Adam <laughs> Scott plays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's Will Ferrell. I won't have to read. Yeah, Will um, it's Keanu Reeves playing a John Wick type, and yeah. I think that the Keanu, the John Wick thing, I think that was his grieving process because that's just a dog, you know. <laughs> and like, listen, well, I love dogs, but it's easier to get over an animal. But that's the thing is 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 the dog was the grieving process though. Yeah, but I think him killing everyone was. Uh, <laughs> but the, the uh... he he was grieving his like dead wife or something like that, and she got him a dog. Oh, I don't remember that. That's why she like while she was dying, she like bought him a dog, and he got it I think after she died. And it was like uh, that almost Jonathan that Wick. almost makes me like it less because <laughs> I I like that it was just like don't fucking kill my dog. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, no. I mean, it, that she had this letter that was like like here, this is to help you get through this time without me, and then right, and then someone killed that dog. So it's like he had his grieving process, and then someone took that away from him. Uh, here's a hacky joke. Did the did the dog come with a jar of peanut butter? <laughs> I don't know how what, a dog what? can uh, replace your wife. <laughs> What's the peanut butter for, Wade? Uh, yeah, well, it's not my thing. I'm just seeing it on the internet. Nate, are you helping us run this tonight, or are you, is it all on my shoulders? All right, what? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Nate's in chat. Nate is not uh, helping tonight. Uh, that's what the Mighty Ginger 4 said. Um, Why is he not doing this? Because he's got a... Because he's at McGurk's. He's at his friend McGurk's house. That's a person? McGurk? <laughs> yeah, it's a person. That the You know home movies? The, that McGurk yeah. is, is named after this McGurk. Oh, crazy. Oh, twer twerking's helping. Okay. Do do I have to make anyone a mod, or am I am I is is twerking gonna set up all the the th the stuff? This is me having a chat with my brother in chat. Um, hey, listen. Someone said they liked my on. podcast, so thank you very much. If you guys want to hear it, it's Real Life Sci-Fi with Wade and Willie. We talk about conspiracy theories and stuff, and uh, we get very off topic, so it's not a source of knowledge by any means. All right. Uh, let's, let's get this show. So here we'll, we'll start off with uh, uh, Wade. Let me explain the show to you and to the audience. This is Trailer Boys. We watch trailers that, where do we get the trailers? You submit them. You and how do you do that? You go to a website called miseryloves.us. Misery loves us, and you submit your link in there. Me and Wade, we can see this list, and we'll pick that. We'll pick trailers out from that list, and we will give you points and keep track of those points. And uh, uh, and what do you get for those points? We don't know. Probably nothing. Just pride. 
You get on a list though. You want you want to see the list you get on? Uh, wait, that's the old list. I gotta make a new list. Hold on. I don't have to make a new list. I have to put the new list in there. Wade Vamp for a second. Um, okay, I don't know if you guys are sports fans, but uh, the Nuggets are currently losing, and they threw Joker out. He smacked a guy. They what? threw him out. Yeah. Which wow. Which is insane. So they're basically saying, go ahead, Phoenix, win the win the series, sweep the Nuggets. So that's where I'm at. And now we're getting blown out. He smacked a guy. Do you think he, it was worth it? He was uh, he was going for the ball, but he like basically just smacked him in the face. <laughs> And then uh, they, you know, they talk shit. I don't know if he got thrown out for the after stuff or because of the smack. Let's say, say it's a 613. I'm going to start dating these things. Buy them nice dinners. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk about sports. He said vamp and I, and I panicked. What do no, you guys it's do? perfect. Oh. That's perfect. You, just give me one second. Uh, you're doing great. You're doing great. Uh, um, what else is going on in the news? Uh, uh, okay, Jeff here we go. Bezos is going to space. Uh, let's uh, hope there's not another Challenger accident. <laughs> Over, I don't know. Like if you're as if if you're as hated as Jeff Bezos, uh, do you really take that chance and go to space? Do you do you tempt fate? Okay, let's let's look at it. Uh, Pan, yeah, I know, really. Like, why? Uh, Panwall is in the lead with 82 points. Zombie Bender, 54. Legion Italia, 43. Flanja, 30. Kit Black, 25. Professor Marth Liv, 23. Schwingles, 19. Avalanche Fan, 84. Hey, Wade, you an Avalanche fan? Uh, yeah, yeah, peripherally. I don't, I don't follow him, but sure. Avalanche Fan, 84, has 17. They're in 8th place. Niamix... In ninth place with 15, and Wade's neighbor Brennan also in 10th place with 15. Oh, wow. So Brennan's on here. You can be like, hey, Brennan! Should uh, I go grab him and he could come up and show you all his face? <laughs> <laughs> he would hate that. Yeah, he'd probably hate that. I bet. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Things are heating up. Alright, so let me make sure this watch thing is oh wait uh wait vamp again oh um this is my cat oliver uh i found her on the interstate in the rain and i had to pull her out of the undercarriage of a suv that was behind us and it was very dangerous and i've gotten nothing out of it but scratches and bites oh she hates this right now she could attack me at any minute mm. Um, I call her Ollie for shorts. Uh, everyone thinks she's a boy, but she's a girl. Um, okay. What else? You know, she's named after uh, Oliver and Company, the Oliver Twist uh, Disney adaptation. Ooh, that's funny. All right, wait, let me do one more thing. All right, uh, so that should be I'm covered in hair. All right, cool. You ready to watch a trailer? Let's do it. This is the, the winner from last week. I just want to make sure that the sound's all good and everything. So if it uh, sounds all weird, let me know. But this last week, uh, the winner was... Uh, last week was band movies. Oh, and just so you know, this week it's time travel movies. Last week it was B-A-N-D, like music band movies. And the winner was Uncle Peckerhead. Congrats, Uncle Peckerhead. Oh, wait, that's the movie. Yeah. Band meeting. Six shows, seven days. And what do you guys need a band for? So that our band can go on tour. I can drive y'all. Every touring band needs a roadie, don't they? Sorry, I didn't get your name. My name's Peckerhead. <laughs> that is not your name. It's tour time. Peck, we gotta move, let's go. What could be taking him so long? Hello? Every night at midnight, I turn into something. <laughs> Who's to say it wouldn't be one of us next time? I am in complete control. 
Yo, put your head down so we can get the top of your dome. Damn. <laughs> Killer? Oh. Cool. There's Uncle Peckerhead. Okay, so, yeah. I he's like that, a zombie? He's like a monster. It's just like a generic monster kind of thing. Yeah, interesting. All right. All right. Don't you think this tour will be cool? Killer would be a better than monstrous. What, what you would never say True. this tour is going to be monstrous. Why would you say that? <laughs> it's uh, not yeah. a thing. I, I side with you on that, but I think for like that like level of like indie movie, you know, like it's definitely like some people not far off from from where we're at. They they did a good job with that trailer. That's usually we have like oh, old, yeah. older movies or like movies that are like so bad it's funny. And that was just like, you guys, that you guys nailed the trailer. You made your movie look more expensive because you you did a good job. There's a, yeah, they they definitely like sent it to a color correctionist. They like they they did all the things you're supposed to do that um, a lot of people don't. I don't I don't color correct. I should. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, we we start things off with a, a segment I do called Coming Attractions. Yeah, there is a video happening. Uh, but I, I have to pull up. I was supposed to... Uh, oh, you don't have to do a poll for Uncle Peckerhead. It already happened. Uh... I'm talking to someone in the chat. Yeah, I get it. Uh, all right. So this week for coming coming attractions is the new um, is the, where we watch trailers for new movies. Uh, and I got I got two two stinkers and then one that 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 looks pretty good. Uh, do you want to watch the stinkers first? Not to cloud um, your judgment. Let's, with this. Why don't we do a sandwich, right? Let's do a stinker right. and then a good one and then a stinker. All right. And the stinkers are kind of have a theme to them, so. Hey, so sorry I'm late. Pink slip repair history. So sorry I'm late. Pink slip repair history. Pretty much everything. Do you have the check? I actually called you. No need to call. I'm here now. Uh, I was trying to tell you that I'm not buying the car. Cone for the trouble? Yes, I want to come. To my best friend. I don't really understand why he has to move to Paris to become a writer, but bottoms up. I'm afraid you're fine. Do you know who this guy is? Dad is dead? No, the main guy? Yeah. Hope you don't mind, but I collected a few personal items that I thought it's you should have. Man's life reduced to a 10 by 12 cardboard box. His name's also made you I think a Ben Platt. Savings and holding. Is he like a friend of ours or something? Fees, which no, he's a Broadway house. guy. That depends. Who did Cindy. Dear Evan Harrison, which is coming out as a movie, which looks like a really bad musical about a kid committing suicide. Oh, great. Oh, good lord. And about bullying and, like, being nice to people. This isn't the first infraction. We have a very strict three strikes policy. What strike is she on? Strike 50. It's a little bit tight, so just be careful with it. Strike, you're out of here, lady. Strike. Us to be together. Well, he's on, I always what, agree with what strike was Rain Man on? About a lot of things. <laughs> I the car some five days. My passport was supposed to be here by now. He said it was clean. That'll buff out easy. So what wait, what's happening? Because we've been talking over this. His sister has tell me what the hell you were is thinking? schizophrenic. No, I didn't know if it was... Did you not know if this was real? And he wants to move to Europe. Never take flight, uh, to like write a book. Oh yeah, you gotta live in Europe if you're gonna write a book. You can't do that from anywhere else. Yeah. How much time do you have? Are you on your meds, Cindy? I don't have to talk to you. Pull over! I want to get out of the car. We're going. Oh my God! Oh my God! 
Your sister didn't ruin your life. Her illness did. Yeah, same thing. Is that all she is? Just a schizophrenic? Things have not been easy lately. <laughs> did your sister ever tell you about the voices? I never really asked. You know what the difference is between you and me? Oh, she's being fun at, at a party? I'm so up. embarrassed. <laughs> Tony Grammy Emmy Award winner Ben Platt. Give your sister a chance, Scotty. He's going for that EGOT, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. He's almost got it. He needs the O. That's what he's going for. This is, this is, uh, this is how you play a schizophrenic. <laughs> like, uh, every, every time I see someone do a schizophrenic, it's like, I gotta say something right now. <laughs> yeah, and that's wrong, right? Schizophrenics are just, they just don't know what's real. I saw I saw the most fascinating video. This is like just like the weirdest video uh, that randomly I saved it, but it's like film of like this like twenty minute interview with a schizophrenic from the sixties, and it's like it's very interesting. It's very fascinating. It's yeah, it's not like he's not doing this, but there's like uh, it's interesting to see the the what he like the moments where he's getting frustrated and stuff so yeah uh, we don't have to vote on the, the the new trailers so you don't have to vote on this um did you watch that uh there's an owen wilson movie with um Selma hayek and uh oh yeah they... i i did not watch it i know what you're talking about it's called like completeness or something like it's like a amazon yeah i movie. can't remember what it's called but yeah it's like uh splendor it's alluded to that there's is it Blender? Splendor or something like that. Yeah, it's something like that. But they, but they like they, maybe have schizophrenia. I don't know. It's interesting. It's not great, but it's uh, it's weird. Uh, it's a watch. I just saw him in Loki. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot about that. All right, so. You want to watch the, the more fun one? That's the one that I think looks fun? Yes. Alright. I don't think this Ben Platt guy is going to make it in the movies. I think he's going to be like the next Josh Gad. Uh, he's going to be the next guy that we see in a lot of stuff that we all go, oh, I hate that guy. Yeah, you're sort of unsure like why they're giving this person so many chances. Yeah. Alright. Tammy Faye. What'd you do? Hello, Mother. This is Jim Baker. My husband. <laughs> it's all part of our mission to help people. Anyone who's hurting or they feel like they've been left out. God has a plan for us. What'd he tell you to do this time? Jesus keeps a ticking me higher and higher. Jim will preach and I'll sing. God does not want us to be poor. Dr. Fowler, a pleasure. Now God has a voice in this fight. Who's he fighting? Liberal agenda. Homosexual agenda. Faith isn't political. You can't talk to him like that. Jerry Falwell is a powerful man, Tammy Faye. She's a firecracker, Jim. If everyone watching could double their pledge just for one month. God loves you. Silly makeup. He really does. Lots of crazy clothes. This just looks fun. We're not doing anything wrong, though. Is that a question? Yeah. The the tone is like the Liberace movie, right? Tammy With uh, and I are undergoing the most and, uh, vicious attack. The Michael Douglas. Or it kind of reminds me of like the. You know, when I saw that clipping with my face I, on Tanya it, I for kind a of like ripped right from me. the headlines well, kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blindly. In the end, all you are is blind. I just want to love people. You kind of like the devil's coming for me. Terry. Sympathetic we view of this, Satan, and, later, like Jim. Steve is a patient of you know, AIDS. Infamous I can't character. Piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I built you an empire. I built you an empire. Some people, they're just hurting so bad, and we just need to love them. <laughs> I want to put my arm around you. And I want to put my arms around you, Tammy Faye. <laughs> the science teacher from uh, Stranger Things. I won't go 
forward looking in the rear view mirror of my life. This is who I am. Yeah, so I don't know anything, like, I don't know that story at all. Yeah. I think that looks cool, though. Um, did you know that, did Ryan Ridley tell you that he, he just had to spend, like, a year in, like, Virginia. Yeah. I think it's Virginia. That, don't, don't oh, uh, me, but he. Oh, no, no, wasn't it, like, Alabama or something? Maybe I'm wrong. I, it, it was something. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Louisiana. South. Louisiana, I thought. Oh, yeah, it was. It was Louisiana, right? And he saw Jerry Falwell at a uh, at a grocery store. That's No, it's not Jerry Falwell. Or, uh, no, yeah. Wait, it's, is he dead? No, no, it's, uh, uh, um, it's the guy that Topher Grace played in Black Klansman. It was the, the head of the Ku Klux Klan at some point. Uh, what's his name? What's that guy's name? He's David Duke. David Duke. David Duke. You're right. He saw you're right. David Duke at the... Yeah. Um, which is weird. I always thought, I was like, huh, you could recognize David Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. All right. So this is, this is like uh, a friend of mine, a friend of mine uh, uh, who you might know on, who people in chat might know on Twitch is Deb Jones commonly uses this phrase, uh, embarrassed to be alive and this trailer I think looks so embarrassed to be alive uh, who's actually actually fe featuring a like the same actor as as uh, was in the last trailer but also the the theme with with the first trailer is uh, musical. I guess the first trailer wasn't me, but it's a Broadway guy. So the Broadway's the theme. This oh, from the, the mind. Bo -bo -bo -bo. This is the life of Bo 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 Bo. This is the life of Bo 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 Bo. Bohemia. Bohemia. Bo 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 Bo. Lately, I've been hearing this sound. Like a tick, tick, tick. Like a time bomb. Check. Hey, boy genius. The fuse has been lit. I know exactly what you, why you prefaced this the way that you did. <laughs> Why? Do you know how many Jonathan Larson? God, oh, it's oh, painful oh. to watch. Yeah. The flame gets closer and closer and closer until all at once everything uh. explodes. Did you think they were going to say, don't say the N-word? Don't um, say the N-word! <laughs> <laughs> no, I was looking... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta Google something real quick. <laughs> uh, so that is... So, Jonathan Larson, the guy that made Rent, wrote a musical about trying to make it writing musicals before rent and so that's the adaptation of that uh oh wait is that what rent is about so no rent is about this is like exactly the things like i saw this and i was like oh that looks so awful i need to spend 20 minutes on wikipedia um rent yeah is uh a a remake of an Italian musical, an adaptation of Italian, like a modernization of an Italian opera. Um, 
and yeah, and the guy, that guy, Jonathan Larson, uh, was had some weird sickness the day that um, that premiered off Broadway, or like one of the advanced uh, things of it off Broadway. And he, like, died, had, like, a brain aneurysm or something like that. Uh, and, Whoa. I mean, which is, like, so funny because, like, did he do a, did he, did Jonathan Larson really do, like, a musical where, where like, people were like, Jonathan Larson's a, a genius before he made Rent? He died the morning of o- opening night. Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't, but, so the weirdest thing is, so wait, he's the one who. Well, I'm sorry, he's the one who wrote this. Jonathan this Larson, is about apparently. Him. I it's it's an adaptation of. He wrote like an autobiographical rock 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 opera, rock opera. Is, is okay there... about paying rent? Rock opera is. He, he no no no, but he wrote an autobiographical rock opera called Tick Tick Boom. About writing and musicals, so, I guess. Okay. And this is and, uh, yeah. an adaptation of this. Uh, Got it. That. Uh, directed by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Yeah. Which who, I, you know... I, I don't like him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I used to do... We, White as Kids used to do shows, and we would be billed with Freestyle Love Supreme, which was his group which was like a hip hop freestyle improv group. Oh, that sounds hard to sit through. And it was it was annoying cuz like you you see it multiple times and you realize that there's certain beats of it that they hit every they have like written jokes within the whole thing, you know? Uh, and it's like, yeah. "Oh, you hit that beat where you say the where you do the Family ties, sha na na na, every time, and then like you all laugh at it, like it's. it's uh... Um, but hey, that guy's super successful and a, way, way has way more money than us. Um, money is not a money is not a, uh, a representation of success. It is not in, in his my case. book. It is in his case. Uh, but yeah. Um, that guys there's a lot of crap coming out that's what we learned today um let's get into the let's get into the trailers this week it's time right. travel if you want to submit we can still see the movies that you submit just go to miserylyloves.us uh, i'm super psyched for this i'm glad that you had me on this one because time travel movies i i love basically every time travel movie i can't i can't get enough all right, I'm going to go with the first one submitted. I kind of remember this being a movie. Um, okay. Uh, let's... let's. I, I never saw this. I remember this being a movie. So, here we go. Oh, my God. Hey, shut up. I took your advice. It was very good advice. Sean, Sean. Look, I can see that you think you know me, but I don't know who you are. My name is Captain Coulter Stevens. You're kind of freaking me out. Look, I don't know who Sean is, and I don't know who you are. It's like uh, Riders of Justice. Welcome back, Captain Stevens. Where am I? You are inside the source code. What is the source code? It's a computer program, Captain. Source code enables you to cross over into another man's identity in the last eight minutes of his life. At 7.48 this morning, a bomb exploded on a train outside of Chicago, killing everyone on board. A man named Sean Fentress was on that train. He is now you. Think, Captain, remember back. Who bombed the train? I don't know who bombed the train! Then try again. Wait, no. I... 
So, what do you think? It's the same train, but it's different. We've been informed there'll be another attack in six hours. If you find the bomber, the next attack can be prevented. Concentrate on the passengers in your car. Look for ones who seem nervous. As always, you will have eight minutes. Eight minutes, and then I blow up again. <laughs> it seems like they, they should have explained this to him time. before. I those seconds count. <laughs> so do it. Yeah, right? Or, or do, do they just explain it to him every time he wakes up? He's just confused every time. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Oh. Uh. Oh, no. Oh. Uh. We, we got a bad link. We got a bad link, guys. That was the first trailer submitted. Sloppy. It was a bad link. Sloppy, you guys just dude. saw the spreadsheets. You saw it. You looked behind the veil. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit of an abrupt ending. Uh, well, you know what's weird is I watched this like a month ago. I'd really? I've never seen it before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so and, uh, do they have to explain it to him every time? Uh, no, they don't. And I don't know why. But yeah, you're right. Like, well, okay. Wait, do you do spoilers on this? Or are we allowed to like freely? The movie came out in like what? 20... 2011. 11? According to the bad trailer that we got. Yeah. So, yeah, that well, so that it. so for it. Dilly Queen, Dilly Queen just said it. He's he's dead, and so the way that they kind of like keep using his, I don't know, spirit is he's in like this weird thing, and they just forever and ever they're just gonna like make him do these missions, and so like a lot of the movie is him just like getting out of this scenario and dying. weird yeah he's like he, he wants to make it up to his dad or something like that is that is that is that am i right it's like he wanted to apologize to his dad or something oh wait so all right wait so he's trying to oh you just reminded me i watched the weirdest fucking movie last night all right so uh source code got 71 percent no so that's uh what is that 29 percent yes so that's one point I'm not going to give it a point. Um, well, let me ask you this. Are oh, we rating this on the actual trailer or or the mo Like, I've seen the movie, but do I rate it on the trailer? Rate it on the trailer. I'll get, I'll, you know what? I'll give it a point. I was, I was very interested. I'll give it, it a sounds... point. I, I kind of, I, I, it, it, as a trailer, it, it had me. I eventually right. watched the movie. So that got after it came out. three points for Clown Baby. Um... Okay, cool. So that's our first movie. It went off with one small hitch that was just not no one here's problem, other than like you know if if people were oh sick wait uh just uh, no quality control. I think I think we've watched this on here before, but not for this week. Uh, and I don't know if it ever got points. Um. I forget what week we would have watched this for, but this movie is one that sticks in my brain, and I remember a lot of the things about it. Uh, so, excited to watch this trailer. Um, so, oh, so the weird movie I watched last night, uh, while I'm loading oh, yeah. this, this up. Um, have you ever seen Rumor Has It with Jennifer Aniston and um, Shirley MacLaine and Kevin Costner? Oh, is that the, it's like the, it's like a Mamma Mia kind of thing where it's, she's trying to find her dad or, or no, her kinda, dad is like, it, the, her she, dad is like, here's the plot is she finds out she's from, uh, 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 Pasadena and she finds out that her mom had an affair before her, she, he married her dad and ultimately finds out that her mom and dad and grandmother are who the the book the graduate were based after yes that's what it, okay yeah i i don't and, know if i saw it i feel like i maybe did it's crazy cuz so that's so that's like how it starts and then she thinks that like kevin costner might be her dad who's like this like basically like uh uh um jeff bezos type who's like super rich and like this older man and she goes she goes to him and then he ends up sleeping with her 
Like oh, he's like what? Or he says, I can't be your dad. I've been like hit in the nuts and now I'm sterile. I used to play soccer and I got hit in the nuts and now I'm sterile. So I can't be your dad. And then they have sex. And then uh and this is a spoiler. And then later she meets his son. And she's like, You're his son? And he's like, Yeah, I'm his and she's like, Wait, what the fuck? And she's like, Wait, you and and it turns out that he he was from a sperm donor, but like it's it's really weird. Oh it's such a weird. That's movie. so convoluted. It's very like, convoluted, why? and it just like is so much of it is like just like playing with incest that it's it's really weird. Right, but and and we're also to imagine that um um the 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 Dennis uh, what's his name Dennis. Uh, the uh, graduate, D- Dustin Hoffman. Oh yeah, Dustin Hoffman. We're we're supposed to believe that Dustin Hoffman grew up to be like a, a Jeff Bezos type billionaire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like but come that on, character. that character's not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, it's it's very weird. Yeah, Jennifer Aniston got stuck in a dryer. <laughs> that sound what? I know yeah. I'm gonna watch it because <laughs> yeah. that sounds awesome. That's your favorite type of video. We always joke around about the <laughs> the pornos where some kid's mom gets stuck in the dryer. Or stepmom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... Alex Furlong is about to die. Oh, wow. And enter the year 2009, where immortality is only a heartbeat away. you consider an alternative body sorry to deceive you including life itself McGagger. <laughs> whoa well, I mean, why don't they just grab somebody who's alive now take a look at these people alex they've lived half their lives with no buster poindexter wait was that was that benicio del toro no it was uh what's his name from the new york dolls but that Buster Point. Oh, right. okay. Yeah, 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 what's yeah, his, yeah. What's his name? Oh, man, I don't know. I just know him from uh, the Scrooge. Yeah, yeah. I watched you die. So they're just like, let's get a shitload of musicians in this movie? Yeah. Don't resist. Free Jack. Wow. That... I mean, here's what I'll say about this. I remember this trailer from from like being a kid. Yeah. And seeing that car hit the overpass, and I was just like, that's amazing. I want to <laughs> see this movie. I have never seen the movie. I, I have seen the movie. I remember it being like kind of a slog and a little forgettable. Uh, mm. But uh I, I would watch it again off that trailer. I think that trailer was so great. And also the, the just the the graphics work in that trailer was amazing. I fucking like the well, weird like it's, I'm not saying it was like impressive. I thought aesthetically well, that listen, trailer anytime, looked rad. Anytime as hell. anyone says that, I just have to remember that Jurassic Park came out like four years after this. No, no, I'm not saying that it looked technologically impressive. I th- I thought it looked aesthetically pleasing. I thought the style of it was cool as hell. Oh okay. okay. Oh, because it's got like a vapor wavy kind of. Uh, yeah yeah like, yeah. It's proto yeah, yeah. vapor. No, I agree with the you. The fonts like were fucking thing. cool. Yeah uh, yeah for sure. The like, yeah all all the fucking grid stuff and like the uh, like I I really liked the stuff where they did the still and they switched it with like the weird kind of Photoshop still. I, I listen, I, Emilio Estevez back then, I was like, sure, man, I'll, I'll watch that, dude. He's great, you know? Dude, we are starting hot because that movie got three points from chat. That, that's a big, that's, that's a big get. I'm, oh, really? I mean, I'm giving it a point. I'm giving it a point, too. I love Emilio, yeah, also. Like, that's another big yeah. plus. Yeah. We, I mean, it looks like a fun movie. I, I'm sorry to hear that it was a slog. That sucks. 
I think it was, I mean, it was okay. It wasn't, like, anything amazing. I think the trailer was just so this is, much better than the actual movie. This came out, I've, I feel like this came out the same time as FX2 for some reason, because I, I, oh, I, love I the like, relate. Oh, I love the trailer FX2. Yeah, I relate that. I, I, for some reason, they're, like, married in my head. So I don't know if I was just, like, seeing these two trailers all the time. Where was Free Jack? All right, I'm going to grab a drink. Yeah, grab a drink while I look for Free Jack on this list. Uh, oh. Is that the first place? All right, I guess so. Uh, so, Vin Unleaded gets a total of five pointeroonies. Um, yeah, that was it. That's amazing. That's the highest you can get, right? Six is the highest. We, we can team up. And we can give it. Oh, an extra and give it. Yeah, okay. I'm not going right. to give it that extra point, though. No, no, no. It doesn't deserve that. Oh, Vin Unleaded just beat Flange for that one. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick something that I haven't heard of. Uh, Great. I'm going to pick something that maybe looks a little older. Oh, what was that? There was something that we were talking about the other day that I was like, oh, we, we should watch that trailer on here. Oh, uh, at some point, at the end of the show, we'll watch the trailer for, um, not Yentl, but the other one. Ishtar. Oh. <laughs> Ishtar. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, wait, I just had one. All right, I'll you know since Flange just missed out on those points, let's uh, throw this one in there for him. His name is Lyle Swan. Ooh, time writer. He's racing. Oh, have you seen this? No, I just, I, I was curious about what it was. Oh, they can't see the name, so. Oh, should I, should I not have said that? We'll take him a hundred and five years backward. Doctor Savage, real. Time Rider, the adventure of Lyle Swan. If I'm right, sir, he stepped out around 1875. Man, I'm glad to see you. He just happened to be in the right place at the wrong time. Uh, I was wondering if uh, maybe you could show me on this map here where uh, where I am. And fate gave him a present. Are hey, you okay? Of the past. Only <laughs> <laughs> trouble was he didn't. Why do you have your helmet on? Yeah, right. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not. I'm trying to not scare these people. Put this helmet on. Oh, it's. Oh, uh, I see why he has his helmet on. Why are those guys shooting at me like that? Because it's. Uh, what's his name? Fred Ward. Where did he come from? I'm taking toys mostly. See, I hang with technoid types. We party, and they come up with all this Bonnaroo boogie. <laughs> Bonnaroo boogie. Everything was different. Take off your clothes. Well. What? Almost everything. <laughs> you heard me, Mr. Swan. Whoa! Time writer. <laughs> I guess in the future, the this guy keeps world. getting <laughs> raped. <laughs> the past present fantasy of a desert racer, a beautiful gunslinger. Where are you from, my friend? Canoga Park, LA. A renegade priest. Beautiful, senor. Where did you get this map? Got it at an Exxon station. And assorted bad guys. Jumped up and down on it. Up and down. Kicked it. <laughs> Time Rider, the adventure <laughs> of Lyle Swan, an off road racer who's way. Peter Coyote from uh, uh, Michael. Oh, Mike Nesmith from uh, The Monkees was the composer on that. Wait, oh, it crazy. says. His name was on there. Oh, it was written by Mike Nesmith. Oh, no. The road. Mike Nesmith and William Deere and directed by William Deere. Uh, I love that they had to include the adventure of 
the adventure of Lyle Swan. Like Lyle Swan is going to be a household name. We're going to do ten <laughs> of these movies. Oh yeah, I, I was late on this, but this is I gotta. Are you are you are you looking at the stream right now? Mm hmm. This is this is what I should say about the the scene where he's ordered to take off his clothes for that woman. Problematic. <laughs> Sorry, I screwed it. <laughs> Problematic. Oh, I got it. Right. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, what? I mean, what? What? What are you thinking? I. Look, I, 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 I'm a big yes for that. That was sixty-eight percent. I'm gonna do a no because my I have a problem with westerns. I'm just not interested in westerns. I didn't I, like Back to the Future Three. You're giving it a no because of Back to the Future Three. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But I also just don't like westerns. It's too dusty. It makes me feel like I can't breathe. In general, you don't like any westerns. I don't like anything that's too like in the desert. <laughs> it just makes me feel bad. I don't want to live in that world for two hours or uh, 90 minutes or whatever. Have you ever seen Unforgiven? Okay, I like Unforgiven. There's a way to do it that I'm into. I like, uh, I like, um, uh, what's I'll Be Your Huckleberry? What is, uh... Tombstone? Yeah, I like Tombstone. I don't know. I don't know. Good, the bad, good the bad and the Ugly? Try. I'm just... I don't know if I've ever seen that, honestly. It's really good. There is a there is a sequence though where uh, Clint Eastwood is almost like starving in the desert and getting sun blistered and stuff. So that sounds like the antithesis of yeah. what you like in westerns. Right. Uh, well, I'm also allergic to horses, and they're all over westerns. Yeah, I agree with Schwingles that Once Upon a Time in the West is one of the best movies ever. That one's well. Is that the Sam Raimi one? No, no, it's uh, it's the movie that uh, uh, Sergio Leone did after Good, the Bad, oh. and the Ugly, and it's with uh, Charles Bronson, Jason Robards, Henry Fonda. It's fucking. I was good. talking about this with someone else. I don't think I've ever seen a Charles Bronson film. I've seen The Great Escape, and he's in that, but I've never seen like a Charles Bronson led vehicle. Yeah, you've never seen Death Wish. Mm. -mm. And that, that's what, what was the what was the Sam Raimi uh, the with quick, uh, was the it Quick and the Dead? Yeah, I didn't know that Stone, was Sam Raimi. Leonardo DiCaprio and I think um, Russell uh, Crowe, right? Maybe I think it's uh, Russell Crowe before the first he's two big. for sure. I just recently watched that because I didn't know it was Sam Raimi. I love Sam Raimi. Ah. I saw. Do you know, speaking of Sam Raimi, I went to South by Southwest. The year that they premiered um, "Drag Me to Hell," and went to that that screening, and that was I haven't seen that yet either. Really, that's yeah a really great like really fun, just original movie. It's like a a horror movie that's like a, a kind of curse movie. Uh, yeah, I should watch it. I just horror movies are, are not my jam either. It sounds like I don't like anything because I just listed two massive genres that I'm not into. But uh, they have to be like really good for me to like them. You should see Drag Me to Hell. It's really different. It's like really like kind of its own thing, which is really fun. yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Um, all right. So I give that a point. Chat gave it two points. I think it was just under the three-point line, and then, um, you know, I think if you know, I think if we didn't just watch the Free Jack trailer, we would have. I think that would have gotten more points. You think really? You think I might have been into it? I don't think Time so. Rider. Yeah, I, th I, I just yeah, think I'm not into Time Rider. It, that was a really fun trailer. I'm not. I'm, I'm not like arguing for points. It's weird that we're talking about Sam Raimi because it, it, it looked a lot like um, Army of Darkness where it's just this dude maybe too cool for the time period he's in, you know? I just thought it was a really funny trailer. Uh, I just screwed everything up. Time Rider. Uh, so Time Rider gets... Ooh, all right. I got. Did you pick one or or uh, can, I, can I pick one? You can pick one. 
Okay, let's do eight five six. Eight five six. Uh, okay. All right. Oh shit! I didn't realize that. Oh no! You're showing your spreadsheets. That I was, you guys can see the <laughs> spreadsheets. I'm screwing everything up. Uh, you're the Wizard of Oz, man. You guys saw all those, those, freaking the notes we have about which one of you guys are troublemakers and stuff. Yeah, who's one coming away from getting banned? Yeah. Greetings! I bring exciting news from King Arthur's court. <laughs> a stranger has come to join our round table. A troubadour from a far-off land called Hollywood. A troublesome but pleasant father they call Sir Bing of Crosby. Let me tell you about it. Wait a minute. What Bill Bendix is trying to say is this. Paramount makes entertainment history on a grand scale, presenting the outstanding star of our time as one of the best-loved characters of all time, Mark Twain's immortal jester, the Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. I have here, Your Majesty, a common, ordinary twig. Festo. Imagine what I could do with a tree. And all the wonderful characters of the book are here with me. William Bendix as Sir Sagan. Sir Cedric Hardwick as King Arthur. Mervyn Pye as Merlin, the mighty magician. Rhonda Fleming as the luscious Lady Alison. Let's not wait. Luscious. And hope for something more sublime. Never has been sung here such rollicking rondelays in such a gorgeous technicolor spectacle. See King Did Arthur's Mark... round table in all its glory. Did Mark Twain write that the Connecticut Yankee was like had a silky smooth voice? Was that a big part of that book? I have that... no idea. I, to be honest, this is the first time I've heard of this book. Hilarious mix-up when Camelot goes modern. The glittering pageantry of the battle tournament as Bing duels with an armor-plated killer. Never do have the time. We'll all be seeing you. <laughs> um, yeah, this is so weird. It's so weird because it's like this bygone era where they would like break the fourth wall and be like, uh, but Bing Crosby's in it, so you're gonna have to love it. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I thought it was so weird that he was like, he was like, uh, this, you know, their greetings. There's someone here from Hollywood, California, and <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, I thought it's a yeah. Connecticut Yankee. I thought I didn't know they were from right. Hollywood. That did, and then he was like Bing Crosby, and I was like, oh, oh, okay. See, I was still like, wait, Bing Crosby's playing himself until the voiceover came in and was like, ah, I'm from Paramount or whatever. I just like these trailers, man. They're so bad, like these old ones. Um, and it's a musical. I mean, I guess it's Bing Crosby, so it's got to be right. Yeah, you know what's interesting, and I think this kind of has to go with with um, movies from back then. But like uh, when I worked at Imagination, uh, there was this Indian guy that was working there named Vishesh, and we would talk to him. We'd have these conversations about Bollywood movies, and we'd be like, Vishesh, they're all all these Bollywood movies are so long, and he'd be like, Yeah, well. Yeah. He'd be like, in India, you know, like, people would only go to the theater, like, once a year. And so when they would go to the theater, they would want it to have everything. They wanted it to be a comedy and have, 
you know, musicals and dance numbers and have action and effects. And that and that's why they're all so long in like like these big things is cuz they're trying to be everything. And I feel like that's similar with a movie like this where it's just trying to be everything for people, you know, cuz Yeah, 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 yeah. because weren't... they're like hyping up the action. He's against a, a metallic hero or whatever that that line was. And people weren't going to movies every weekend. That wasn't like Movie Pass wasn't a thing then. It's not a thing now. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, I'll I'll say I, this: like I'm kind of I'm kind of like cheating in a way. But if if it's a musical and if it's old and I haven't heard of it, I definitely will not watch it because that means it didn't become like iconic, you know? Yeah. Uh, I will say that uh, I thought it was really interesting to see that there there was the part where he's like like I've got a a twig and it lights on fire and everyone's like ooh which is like kind of like like Black Knight has a trailer joke that's like the same thing where he's like got a lighter but they do like a, a reversal on it where everyone's like we've got fire Oh really? It, it almost feels like this uh, Black Knight was an adaptation of of this story. Yeah, right? yeah, like, totally. Uh, I never heard that before, but I wouldn't doubt it. Imagine what I can do with a tree, baby. All right, wait, wait. Sweet. Someone, someone's just. It wasn't submitted. I checked the list to see if it was submitted, but now it just got submitted. Uh, what I Black think. Knight? Black Knight. Uh, I'm going to take a quick scan to see if it got submitted before this and I missed it. No, it did not get submitted. All right, well, let's watch the, 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 let's go down this rabbit hole. All right, and, okay. oh, wait, 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 what were the, what was the final for, uh, the Oh, votes? they hated it. What, they what, hated did, it. what was the percentage that it got? 19%, I believe. Oh, 19%, so that's a zero. What do you, do you give it a point? No, I give it a zero. I'm going to give it a one. <laughs> I'm cheating a little. We got a soft touch over here. I'm cheating a little. Because I, I think if I was to, if you asked me first, I would have given it a zero. But I think it, I, it was so fascinating, I think it deserves a point. Alright, so that got a zero. Um, but yeah, let's watch, uh, and that was submitted by, or that got a one, and that was M12 Sarge, M12 Sarge, you get a pity point there. Um, I mean, I like the deep cut. Yeah, it's a deep cut, you know, I, I, I want, I don't want to, like, discourage people from submitting stuff like that. All right, right. So. yeah, yeah, no, I agree, I agree. You know what? Give it another point. <laughs> it's a two points? Wow. <laughs> I could have went to the major. So what's how I do that? Oh, God. Jamal's life was going nowhere. And this is like some three mile island Exxon Valdez. Until fate. That's got to be worth a lot of money. Decided to put his future in the past. Oh. Ah! What day is it? It is the year of our Lord 1328. Ah, now he's living in the Middle Ages. Who be ye? Who be I? Did you put your hand on me one more again? I'll be stomping your... And getting the lay of the land. Y'all really know how to make a brother feel welcome? From Regency Enterprises. <laughs> what's up, homie? Sir Skywalker. Woo, woo, woo. What's up? Hey, what's up there? <laughs> he's French. Yeah! Silence! I gotta go! But Lynn, you cannot! I'm here to help you return the kingdom to our deposed queen. Slaughter them! Say what? This fall. You on a thong. A what? Ooh. Being noble. <laughs> He's a royal prince. <laughs> and let me introduce you to my little friend. <laughs> You kick the beat, man. I need you to kick it like a white boy ain't never kicked it. Oh, no. Martin Lawrence is. The Black 
knight. You have no business with the king's daughter. Trust me, somebody got to that flower long before I did. You need to know, your daughter's a freak. Oh, <laughs> Problematic. Um, listen, in the first half, I was like, this looks funny. Because I think Martin Lawrence is best when he's like, when he's panicking and in pain and stuff like that. And he's just screaming. Yeah. And then he kind of settles into it. And I'm not sure I like it anymore. This is this is what I'll say is, is that this is uh, a movie I would not watch on Netflix but would watch on Pluto TV. Okay, explain that. I don't get that. So I would, that there would have to be breaks? I would never start it. I would never go, yes, this is the oh, movie but if it's I'm live. watching. But if it's, if it's playing, and I'll, I'll turn it on like halfway through, and maybe... Yeah, I am sponsored by Pluto TV. I fucking wish. If you work for Pluto TV, and you need a sponsor... I would love to sponsor Pluto TV. It's not even me selling out because I just have a passion for it. Um, but yeah, I, I. It's funny that it's funny that we're doing a time travel thing, and the further we sort of progress through time, the more we 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 want the past. Like Pluto TV is just like I want the simplicity of turning my brain off and just like putting yeah. on live TV, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think it's because people were like, oh, like, the way I see it, there was all these people out there who were watching TV, and they're like, this is fucking great. Give me more channels. Give me more channels all the time. And there are all these people who weren't watching TV who were like, let me start things whenever I want. Yeah. And everyone was like, hey, let's like, uh, like change the world for those people who want to start things whenever they want. And there's all this couch potatoes got screwed who like channel right. surfing. Yeah. Now there's this analysis paralysis where you're like, do I watch Hulu or Netflix? And then you have to first choose your platform and then you have to scroll through and see what you want to do. And it's yeah. just like, this it's is awful. too much work. It's awful. Miserable. Uh, so, yes. Uh, Trailer Boys is brought to you by Pluto TV. Pluto. It's always on. Pluto, you you need the <laughs> breaks to go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only thing I hate is that it's like the same four commercials every break. I oh, just wish... dude, I know. I don't get why they the... can't cycle commercials. Why we don't have That's that That's the technology. only reason that I bought the, the premium Hulu, because I was so sick of just sitting through the same commercials over and over again. I was like going insane. Yeah. Um, Black Knight, what do you give it? Um, no, nah, I'll say no. Nah. I'm sure, like, I, I saw it when, when it came around the first time, and I wasn't into it. Uh, I'm gonna say no. Nah. I think chat said it too. What did they say? I thought it was like a 50... Oh, well, a one point. Uh, so Black Knight gets a one point. It's like a late submission. That's, that's what it deserves. Yeah, um, it deserves a one. A little quick story about me. A little, like, backstory of me. Um, uh, I almost saw the Matrix in theaters as a kid. I was going to go see the Matrix in theaters. I was with a bunch of friends a couple of them had seen The Matrix, and they're like, we gotta go see The Matrix. And we were heading to the theater, and then one of the guys in the group saw the marquee and goes, Oh, wait! Blue Streak came out this weekend? We gotta go see Blue Streak! <laughs> and, like, insisted that everyone go see Blue Streak, and so I never saw The Matrix what? in theaters, because I ended up going to see Blue Streak that weekend. I want to know who this guy is, that he's so cool that he can just change the minds of everybody in the group. It wasn't a cool move. It was a very, like, uh, no, we got, I, we got to go see this, guys. Yeah, but everyone listened to him. If he wasn't cool, they would have been like, no, fuck off, Jake. 
Nah, it was kind of like that, but I don't know. I think everyone, we, we all... <sighs> My Martin Lawrence movie is, the one that I really like is, um, uh, now I'm going to not remember the title. It's the one with, uh, uh, is it Tim Robbins? Where, is oh, that yeah. Blue Streak? No, no. Um, no, I, I agree trouble? with you. Not that. Nothing not to nothing, lose. Nothing to lose. Where, where Tim... Yeah. Tim Robbins catches his wife cheating on him and then Martin Lawrence like carjacks him and he like decides to take him on a ride. There's that, but there's also Martin and Lawrence then, just got out of jail and he's trying to get the money that he hid in the police precinct. No, that's Blue Streak. Oh. You're you're conflating the two. What happens yes, is Yes, I am. Uh, what happens is that, uh, Martin, Martin Lawrence, Tim Robbins is like, kind of like, he's like, fuck it, I want to die. So he ends up like, kind of confronting Martin Lawrence while he's trying to jack his car. And, uh, they end up going out to the desert, they get in a fight. And then eventually he's like, I think it's like his boss or something that's having an affair with his wife. And so he's like, hey, we should screw over my boss. And so they steal a bunch of money from him. And they plan a heist together. Yeah. I just remember uh, there's a spider on your head. And he's like, I don't know what slang you're saying. I don't know what that means. But he just has a spider on his head. (laughs) (laughs) I remember he, he does this move, too, in their fight that I thought was so funny where he goes like, where he, he goes like uppercut, 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 and then just gives him an elbow to the like he like fakes the uppercut, then elbows him in the face. <laughs> Wait, I we're we're gonna rabbit hole for a second. We're gonna watch the Nothing to Lose trailer. Uh, oh great! I'm psyched about this. I might have owned this on VHS. Uh, nothing to lose. Uh, there's clips from it. I can't find the trailer. Wait. This is the VHS capture of the trailer. Oh, wow. Oh, this is great. It was before, like, uh, Kingpin or something. If you bought the Kingpin VHS, uh, this came on. Guys, excuse the f- the formatting, because this might be a little off. It might be cropped a little weird. Video oh, and it's like single channel. Now we're still on for tonight. Yeah. I love you. I'm gonna try to beat her home, I'm gonna surprise her. Nick Beam is about to come home to the right place at the wrong time. Now, things couldn't possibly get any worse. You listen good. It's so good. Car, keys, wallet, now. Helen, tell her I'm talking to you. Boy, you picked the wrong guy on the wrong day. Wait. Uh... And it's a truck right there. Problematic. about this whole kidnapping. Damn, you remember this really well. We watch this move here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you're freak of human nature. It's clear you have women problems. Put the money in the bag. You weren't gonna leave without me, were you? You take that money back. Move out. I'm not going anywhere until you return. Here we go. <laughs> There are smarter ways to do it. Enlighten me. Wear a mask. You know, I never noticed before, but you have really nice eyes. <laughs> Touchstone Pictures <laughs> presents. Great! I'm alive! Two men with everything to gain. You go for the big score. Am I hearing you right? One robbery, you're set. <laughs> and nothing to lose. <laughs> the money! It's not your money. It's not your money. It's half of mine. Let's go! Do that for me. Back off! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going down like this, Nick. I really don't think you should be moving right now. Call the paramedics. Have them meet me with a gurney. I'm gonna count to three. One. Don't touch the sheet. Two. Are you on two already? Three. <laughs> I got it. You go, boy. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm saying, man. He gets me when he's panicked and screaming. Yeah. Don't talk back to your mother. You got that slap 
because you with it. I want to watch that. Coming soon. I know. I wonder if that's around. Did everyone just collectively forget about that movie? I think so. I because we would know about it. Yeah. Um. Because it would be all all we ever talk about. Uh. All right. Let's go with another time travel movie. Uh, this one yeah. looks interesting. Oh, <laughs> they voted on it. They're split. <laughs> They're split on oh, Martin Lawrence. <laughs> All right, we'll tell we'll tell the president of Hollywood. Yeah, uh, like he's he hasn't been around lately, so I don't yeah. know if you guys. Uh, it's not really going to matter. Long ago, back before our time. Way, way before there were turtles, <laughs> the world was ruled by dinosaurs. <laughs> they were big, they were awesome, and they really knew how to party. Go jump in a crater! I know your parents are supposed to be like these brilliant scientists or something, but I always wonder how they really make a living in here. To me, positive you know what you're doing. Do you want to see dinosaurs or not? Well, yeah. Now, Tim, <laughs> Jamie, and Nick. Yeah, but not if they're like you, Three great kids <laughs> are about to become three brave heroes when they enter another dimension. That was no earthquake. And come face to face with the most colossal prehistoric adventure ever. Look, this concerns the fate of Source City. Uh. The Rockies have taken almost everything we have, oh, and now they're going to melt the city down. character. Great. I'll bring the marshmallows. Join them for the journey to Source City. Be there Source for the science the fiction fable with Thunder Lizards. I want it now, Link. No! This is all Cave dwellers. scientific. Who talking about brains this is scientifically accurate. I mean... <laughs> yeah, right? And the hippest dudes from the primordial ooze. But can they save the planet? Excuse me, boys. <laughs> I was looking for somebody who was supposed to be getting off. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Dinosaurs. Starring Boy, the far-out pterodactyl. What with all the rocks? He's far out, bro. The total triceratops. Rex, the red Tyrannosaurus, and oh, no. the Wacky Rockies. See Adventures in Dinosaur City. Give me wow. Call. Destined to be the biggest hit in 50 million reptilian years. Destined. Wow. Oh, man. Holy yeah. shit. They couldn't have been more like, right, huh? Wow. So this is like Such definitely... A big hit. Oh, oh, now I understand the turtle joke, because... The turtle joke in the very beginning, I was yeah. like, why, why turtles? And it's, a, it's Ninja apparent turtles. that they're just like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. I mean, and also those costumes were like straight out of, did they just reuse those for the dinosaur series? Like, they look like, exactly the same. Yeah, because I think this came before the dinosaur series. It looks like it. It looks like it. it there's no year on the uh, YouTube, so I don't know when it actually Adventures came out. Adventures dinos um, in Dinosaur City. 1992. So when did the TV show Dinosaurs come out? I mean, maybe around the same time. I'm not sure. Oh, wow. I mean, listen. Outside of, uh, like, that dinosaurs are human for some reason, I think I would watch this. I think I would... Oh, so Dinosaurs came out in 91. What year was so it? who knows? So it's. I think Jurassic Park was ninety three. Uh yeah, I mean, you you could be right. I thought it was a little later, but maybe ninety four. I think it was ninety three. I had to guess. Um, uh, I would watch this. I I'm gonna give I'm, it a point. I'm giving that a point too. Chat gave it two points. Uh, so that's a that's a four. We're not point giving trailer. it to the bonus point though. Right? No, no. Yeah. Uh, but that was so much fun. That's what 
that that trailer that's what this show's all about it's like some weird trailer that you've never seen before yeah amazing amazing do you know how many people got together to make that movie yeah <laughs> that just was just insane that was kit black uh and kind of on theme and i think a similar year we'll throw this one down and this is one i've i saw in theaters this next Ooh. one Sixteenth century Japan. Brave men ride into battle. Fighting an evil emperor. With their only hope. A golden scepter that can open the gates of time itself. Now, in their darkest hour, come four brave fighters from another time. Another place. Another species? You were expecting maybe uh, the Adams family? They're back. <laughs> and they're back in time. Hey, Adams, check it out! We're in Shogun! Once before, demons defeated my ancestors. Now they've come back for me. Talk about your quantum leap! My cannons can destroy these monsters, my lord. Whoa! Uh oh, this doesn't bode well. Come on! <laughs> Rescue I have ever had. But I think I swallowed a frog. I hope it wasn't an ancestor. New Line Cinema presents Allegorama. Should we? Yeah. The four greatest turtles. Hey, all right. Eh? It's not just a joke. It's an problematic. To go down in history. It's just your ordinary uh, time travel equal mass displacement kind of thing. Uh, kids. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. Help, I'm a turtle and I can't get up. <laughs> Problem. The turtles are so you. hacky. They're so hacky. They're so hacky. They're just doing references. Quantum leap. Yeah. Uh, help! I can't get up. Uh, uh, what was the what was the one we just? Oh, swing, swing. Like that's just a way. You're just stealing jokes at that point. That's not. That's but not it, you. And the Wayne's World joke is that they have boners. Yeah. Swing. So the tur. The turtles like have boner. my boner, yeah. Like, uh, uh, here. I think that was the first time I saw a movie and like realized, like, oh, that wasn't made by the same person that made the other two. Like, the yeah. like, it's well, so that... far away from the other two. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like the studio took over and they're like, uh, how do we like ramp? What are we gonna do for the third movie? You know. Because the, the first movie at that time was like the most successful independent movie. Yeah. Um, and then, and then they just ruined it. They just totally ruined it. Yeah. I mean it. Oh yeah. It, that's. It's, I was really bummed too because one of my favorite uh, characters from the turtle cartoon. So that's fifty three percent. Shell na, so that means that's a one pointer <laughs> from chat. Fifty three percent no, uh, one pointer. Uh, but what I will say is that uh, uh, one of my favorite characters from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was Yasagi Ojimbo, the samurai rabbit character. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was very Japanese, right? He was a, like a samurai. I thought no. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, wrong country. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. No, no, I think he probably was. I, uh, but like, I always thought they had a Isagi rights problem Yojimba. with these movies. Yeah, uh, that's probably what it was. But it's like, I feel like that was like, Usagi Yojimbo was a cameo from a completely different comic book series. Oh, I didn't, I didn't oh, realize interesting. that. Oh, interesting. There was an Easter egg with Usagi, wasn't there? Was there? Uh, Siri search Big Turtle Gasm. Uh, 
He was a ronin. Okay. A wandering swordsman. Okay. So, I guess the same as Yojimbo. So, yeah. So, it's, uh, it was a Japanese character. Yeah, you're right. Um, Mike Patton sang the theme? Of a comic book? Of the, the movie? Wait, Which Professor movie? Marth, elaborate. Mike Patton sang the theme of what? Mike Patton sang the TMNT theme for the new game. Oh. Oh. You want to hear a quick Sam story about the Ninja Turtles? Uh, I would love to. It would afford me the opportunity to walk to the kitchen while I listen. When I was young, I was in like like first or second grade, uh, I was in a... I signed up for a talent show. I signed up to do stand-up in the talent show. And then once it was getting closer, I was like, I don't know how to write stand-up. I'm fucking 10. And so, and, all, and everyone else in my class were like just lip-syncing to songs. And so it was like, yeah, I'm also going to lip sync to a song. And then uh, when it came time for the rehearsal, the day before the talent show, uh, they, they made this decision that anyone who changed their act wasn't allowed to be in the talent show. And so I was this like second grader. And they like, and I showed up for the rehearsal, and they're like, "No, you're not in." And so I went back to my class, and I fucking did what uh, me, not all second graders do, but me in second grade did, which was I fucking cried. Uh, my feelings <laughs> were hurt. And uh, so they said, "Okay, you can be in the talent show. Fine." And so I got to like go. I was so excited to be in the talent show to lip sync to. Uh, T-U-R-T-L-E power from the Ninja Turtles soundtrack. It's a Ninja Turtles rap. <laughs> and yeah. uh, my outfit was a, I remember this, it was a, a, a like a neon blue sweatshirt, some sweatpants, a neon blue sweatshirt uh, with a volleyball player on it. A Sinjin Smith, a, a specific beach volleyball player. And one of those biking hats that flipped up. And uh, I went and I was ready to lip sync to T U R T L E Power. The thing was, though, was instead the 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 performances went by grade. Like you start off with the kindergarten or with the first graders, then you go yeah. to the second graders. So like everyone uh-huh. I knew was right in this beginning of the thing. But instead of putting me, being like, all right, you're going here, they put me at the end of the talent show after the eighth graders. The eighth graders, like, like the last performance were these kids who, like, actually had a band. They were, like, in full bands, yeah. They were, like, an act, they were actually playing their instruments, which was just fucking magic to everyone in a K-8 through eight school. It was, like, I don't fucking <laughs> understand this. It's an actual skill. And then they were, like, and now this lone kid, this lone first grader here to lip sync to T-U-R-T and it was like me for like three minutes going like this. Did you, did, did you at least learn the dance that he does? No, no, no. It, was, it wasn't even the iced tea thing. It was T-U-R-T-L-E power. Like it, well, it's, that's vanilla. That's no, vanilla ice, right? No, uh, vanilla ice was go ninja, go ninja, go. Oh, T-U-R-T-L-E power. T-U-R-T-L-E power. T-U-R-T-L-E power. It's like a it's like a electronic song almost, right? Yeah, it's kind of that CNC music factory kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> Vanilla Ice was in the sequel. This was from the soundtrack yeah, of the yeah, first yeah. That was, movie. That was Secret of the Use, yeah. So that that's a... Uh, oh, Marth wants to hear the song. Let me see if I can find it on Spotify. Okay, while you look for it, I'll tell you my... One of the most embarrassing moments of my life. Um, there's this weird talent show that we we were on a class trip for some reason, and they did a talent show at the end of it. And me and my friends were like, we don't have any talents. What are we gonna do? We were also on a trip like with this group from Texas, and we hated them because we'd be on the we'd be on the bus with them and they would just start singing. They would, they would sing like all the radio hits and we were like, what is with these Texas people? They're super weird. 
And uh, so we had no plan. We were like, let's improvise. We're in seventh grade. We can definitely improvise uh, to <laughs> to make comedy. And uh, and when we're sitting there and just like totally bombing, no one's even saying anything. It was like just sitting there. And I kept trying to be like, oh, maybe this would be a, a jumping off point. And I would say something and then my two friends would not back me up. So we're just kind of sitting there. It's the most awkward, awkward performance ever. <laughs> trying to make fun of these Texas kids. And like the rest of the class kind of liked these Texas kids. So we were just like, <laughs> we, we just fucked up completely. It was the, oh my God. I, ugh. So this is a cringy, cringy fucking It's a very moment. embarrassing time. Wait, okay, what, don't make middle schoolers do a talent show, because they're already so awkward. This is, I'm, I'm doing the... Wait, what, no, wait, I can't hear it. I don't know if you shared it. Oh, oh. The chat can hear it. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Well, let me turn the chat. I'll turn the volume on. This is serious, so give me a quarter. I was a witness, get me a report. Call April O'Neill in on this case, and you better hurry up. There's no time to wait. We need help like quick on the double. Have pity on a city, man, it's in trouble. We need heroes like the Lone Ranger when Tonto came pronto. When there was danger, they didn't say we'd be there in half an hour. Cause they displayed triple power. Guess how much, how long the, the whole song is. Uh, five minutes? Four, four minutes, 30 seconds. She spied the bad guys and saw what happened, but before she knew it, she fell in a trap and got caught. Yes. Yeah, I basically did a Napoleon Dynamite in second grade. Oh my god, that's uh. Well, but you were a kid. That's you were you were adorable, you know. It I like like looking back on it now though, like I'm like, was the person who was like organizing this talent show mad at me? Like, were they <laughs> were they like annoyed that they couldn't cut me from the show? And so they were like, yeah, we'll throw... Like, why couldn't they throw me? Like, there's no reason. Like, I produce shows. There's nothing I hate more than a crying child. I'm going to teach this kid a lesson. He will never cry again. <laughs> uh, it's so weird. So weird. All right, let's watch some more time travel movies. Yeah, let's do it. You got one picked out? Uh, Let's see. Um, that was from Kit Black. Um, did we want? Did we? Oh, okay. All right. Uh, I think I. Oh, oh well, wait. Hang right. on. If you if you want to be on theme, you could do eight eight eight. Okay. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, sure. Do you? I don't. I do not remember this. A cartoon. A cartoon. Oh, it's a cartoon? Uh, from... Amblin Entertainment and Steven Spielberg bring you the story of Cecilia, who was lonely. It's my parents. They're just never around. And Louis, who longed for adventure. I'm running away to the surface. While millions of light years away, someone heard them. Greetings, friends. I'm Captain New Eyes. I'm trying to make a few wishes come true. I invented this. It's a wish radio. I wish I had a friend. He sent them some help. They want to meet you. What do you say? From the prehistoric past. We'll do it! Farewell, my friend. Just try not to step on anybody. You gotta be kidding! Alright, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 yeah. wait. This kid 
is like, I wish I had a friend. And this guy's like, I know. I'll send them dinosaurs. Like. <laughs> well, he's actually the devil. You learn that he's the devil. And he's like, be careful what you wish for. Dinosaurs. You're not going to be cool at all. Yeah. He could have. Everyone's gonna be scared. He's also like a ten year old. It's like you could have introduced him to any other ten year old at that time, and they'd be like, the first thing that we would say is like, "Hey, do you want to be friends?" <laughs> I mean, take a loser from uh, you know the eighteen hundreds or something, and and throw him through. If it's got to be a time, if it's yeah. got to be a time thing, <laughs> at least make it a human. Also, check it out, World Trade Centers. Oh shit. Oh no. Take a second. Let's uh, remember 9-11. Let's remember the world's Everybody remember. Um the 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 movie's called uh uh We're Back, but these two buildings aren't problematic. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Welcome to New York City. Who are you guys anyway? Dinosaurs, actually. Dinosaurs, huh? Do goddamn look. Nice oh, he's also a in that hat. <laughs> I'm very pleased to meet you. Through high flying adventures. Look out for the sky Through narrow escapes. Through rush hour traffic. Watch where you're going. They're making their way to the big top. There, right there. But Professor Screw Eyes. That's the bad guy. Has other plans. <laughs> Professor Screw Eyes Eccentric Circus. Standard contract. You want to sign? Do you see what they're most afraid of? Never trust Don't anyone named Screw Eyes. To the contract. Yeah, you you you'll be pulverized. I am the master of fear. Oh, this guy's nuts. We're back. A John dinosaur Goodman. story. Featuring the voices of yeah. John Goodman. Roll back right to the dawn of time when the earth was smoking and the lava flow. Martin Short. I like comedy myself. Jay Leno. You're gonna love this. Julia Child. Welcome, welcome. And Walter Cronkite. And that's the way it is. Roll back the rock. Roll back the who do we get to voice this cartoon? I don't know, whoever. Based upon the best loved children's book by Hudson Talbot. We're back. A dinosaur story. Where is Central Park? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And oh, we're back. I have so many things to say and I don't remember any of them. <laughs> like that that trailer just kind of wiped my mind. Uh, I, I had a lot of fun with that one. That's such a... That is, I remember that movie as being like, oh, there's dinosaurs in their back. Uh, that has so much going on. But that was like kind of the same. Was that the same animation company? There was a, this. Was that the the Five uh, American Tale animation company? Because it was like almost overdrawn in a weird way. There's like two. It many seems poses. like it. It always yeah. turned me off. Um, but then Walter Cronkite. As a, you couldn't find an actor. You had to get Walter Cronkite. What's yeah, I know. What's up Julia with that? Child, like, hmm. And then Martin Short is just doing his Jay Leno impression, but Jay Leno is also cast. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get an actor, so you just got Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Ooh, Leno. burn! Man, I can't believe you did that to me, Sam. Uh, all right. Um. I had fun. I'm giving away a lot of points today. I had fun with that one. I, I just think the trailers have been good. Uh, I'm going to give that one a point. Uh, man, I will also give it a point because John Goodman like raps, and that's cool. Oh, we saw... There, one of the winners one week was... Uh, and you guys gave it two points. Almost three, but two. I think, I think that's a four-point trailer. That makes sense. Um, it's four points to Kit Black again. All oh, right, no. we got we got to change it up. Kit Black has this this good plan of yeah. submitting at different points, and so we end up putting more Kit Black trailers in there. Uh, so we'll, I'm going to change it up and make sure we we get someone different. Yeah, sorry, Kit, my bad. Kit Black's just game in the system, apparently. Uh. 
Let me see. There was one I saw that looked really good. Um. <laughs> I know what one I want next. You you pick this one, and then I got one. All right. Oh man, are you guys talking about? Listen, here's the thing. I I, I my friends all love Martin Short, and I, I cannot stand him. I don't like any of his characters. What about Three Amigos? No, I love Three Amigos. Three Amigos, is but he's like. Yeah. But he's not doing a character, and he wrote that too, right? I think so, yeah. That's like something about his characters I don't like. And Jiminy Glick, I do not like. Yeah, it's it's one of those, like, he. there's an air to a lot of his characters of, like, everyone's going to love this one. Yeah, that, 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 that guy with the hair or whatever, who, like, Ed, he, like, Ed, dabs all the time or something. Ed Grimley. Have yeah, you ever seen that? The, like, there, there's that SNL synchronized swimming sketch, which I thought was really funny. Oh, uh, I've seen clips of that. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, here, I got, I got mm. the trailer. Wait, hang on, hang on, though. Clifford is the best. I love Clifford. Clifford, Clifford is, is very best. weird. Charles Gordon's amazing. Charles Gordon's the best, and Clifford is really good. Uh, For the bounty hunters of the future. Someone said I'm in this trailer. This is the one I was going to pick. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I guess it's not supposed to be me. That? That guy? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. I'll buy it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's right. Now we're talking. Whoa. This showed full ass in a trailer. Wait, full ass? Yeah, go back. Try We're not supposed to show full ass. A mercenary police force. Was that? Are we gonna? Are we gonna? I'm go not gonna go. It's minus one points if it's TOS. Uh, I can't go back and pause it. It'll be double TOS. Don't get in my way. There was a G-string. If there was a G-string, it's fine. She had a thumb. Was a G-string. Yeah. All right. But. I mean, the whole point of thongs is you're seeing the whole ass. <laughs> Alright, I think it's a thong. What are you going to do with that thing? Change channels on me? Alright, we'll watch the rest of this and I'll check it out. TOS, it's minus one. That's, we've got to... I think I've seen this movie. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think I, because I saw that part where he, in the, the dump. Oh my god, this is definitely like right up Rob Traub's alley. If, if he hasn't heard of this... I guarantee you he has. David Carradine in a time travel movie. Yeah. That seems very sharp. All right, I'm going to go investigate. For the bounty hunters of the future. Uh, what would you, if, if this is not a TOS violation, are you going to give it a point? Go ahead and vote um, on it, chat. I'm gonna. I would. I would. Oh, I, I mean, that's a pretty full ass. <laughs> I. Oh no! I can see. I can see the thong there. There's like a black line in the butt cheeks. <laughs> you can see there's it, it is a stringy thong. I, if you say so, that just looks like a butt crack to me. There, look at that that black line at the top. Well, sh yeah. Oh, like, that's a shadow. No, that's deep black. Oh, it's her ass oh, crack oh, all the yeah, way up. Yeah, yes. Okay, I do, I do see that. You're right. All right. All right. I, I, I'm, I'm going to give it a point. I thought that was fun. <laughs> I'll give it a point. Sure. All right, so that is, and I got two points from chat, so that is a four-point trailer. Nice. Um, well, so now I don't have one, because that was the one I was going to do. 
What was that called? Future War? Uh, uh... Oh man, I lost it. Uh, Future Force. Future Force. And that was... What was it? Oh, okay, I got one. Wait, let me read this other guy's submissions. I think I want to do 926. All right, wait. Let me find. Hold on. 926? Yeah, I think so. Could be could be wrong. I'm looking at this other guy's submissions, but I really like 926. It's the one with uh, Roseanne's ex husband? Yeah. All right. Okay. I've worked with him. Have you worked with him? No, never. Oh, he was nice. That's cool. I, I bet he, he seems like he would be. I think he's sober now and stuff. So, like, people who get sober are usually pretty chill. Wait, I gotta restart this. Merry Christmas. So, this is like a gift, huh? Perfect. Merry Christmas, kids. That's my favorite thing in movies, where truck drivers just do not see the road in front of them and just run over anything that's in the road. Scares the dickens out of an unsuspecting Scrooge. This year. Excuse me for trying to spread some holiday cheer. It's Jack. Synchronized watches. It'd be funny to do that bit, but have them Who like the truck the drivers. Oh, Christmas is this the gift you want to give me? He puts it the road, and then the truck driver stops. And he, hey, can you move that out of the road? Yeah, yeah, you're blocking a road, man. What are you doing? <laughs> can you just run that over? No. The fuck up my truck. Yeah, what are you talking about? I don't just run shit over. There's no spirit like the present. I'm here to fix things. To help Jack chase down the past. I'll pop us through time like a pinball. Hey, that guy got really big on TikTok. Have you seen that? We're now somewhere else in time. What's that guy from? I think it's from like a Jimmy Law and Order, one of the Law and Orders or something. Get a second shot. Maybe it's from Ally McBeal. Oh, is that it? He got big on TikTok. Yeah, people love him. Christmas spirit. Regent presents Tom Arnold, Andrea Roth, Leslie Jordan. Leslie Jordan chasing Christmas. Or maybe it was Instagram stories or whatever, but he, he like, uh, he's got a whole new fan base. I'm glad you think this is funny. Grace Under Fire? Is that what he was from? Some people are saying Grace Under Fire. Grace. Is that? I don't know. Under. Uh, that was, that was pretty rough. I'm gonna, uh, I, I'll give this a point. I, I love bad Christmas movies, and I love time travel movies. I don't exactly know how this was a time travel movie, because we go were back just talking time. about the... Oh, oh, because they, they, go back they visit his past life. and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. I, I like it. I'm giving it a point. Uh, I'm going to say pass. All right. Uh, what was that? That was nine nine nine, or something like that. Uh, it was nine two six. Chasing Christmas. Nine two six. Oh, sorry, Wheel of Money. You didn't. You didn't like it. I don't know, man. I like Christmas movies. Well, there was no Christmas decorations because he was anti-Christmas, so he didn't have them. Wait, oh, so wait, Chat gave it, what, zero? I guess Tom Arnold in, is that no? Oh yeah, that's no, that's a zero. 
So that got one point. So my paintings, uh, I painted them. This is Tom Brady getting intercepted by a giraffe because a giraffe is the least capable animal to intercept a pass, and that's how bad Tom Brady is. How do you know the giraffe's and, on the uh, other team? Um, because he's not wearing the Patriots uniform. And then this but is he's not wearing up, any getting, uniform, right? Yeah, but you think Bill Belichick's going to let him go out there without maybe, a uniform? Maybe Tom Brady's so good at at football that even a giraffe can catch him. Can, he can. Well, okay. I mean, that's that's the that's the Homer way to take it. I'm, t I'm looking at the Twitch here because the the screen is. Uh, so I got I got Fedorov getting stone stonewalled by a uh, by a ferret or something. And then, oh, you guys might not like this. Rest in peace. I got Kobe Bryant getting dunked on by a turkey. <laughs> and then the 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 baseball one, you can't you can't see it at all, but it's uh it's just a turtle hitting a home run off a Cubs player. I I don't really have any beef with the Cubs. I don't follow baseball that much, so I, I don't really know. Uh, I was just like, okay, the Cubs. Those are right. My paintings, they look like they were done by a five year old. Okay, uh, this one, this is a pan wall. This is a pan wall trailer. Ladies and germs. Let's give it up. What does that mean? Uh, that's the person who submitted it. Oh, got it. What are we going to do, Mark? We're just going to pretend like nothing happened. But what if one of those creatures got out? How, Sarah? I told you to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> what? And she blames it. Does the burning down of the wax museum have any bearing on whether the accused killed her stepfather or not? You two are here. Something has gone wrong. If we don't find some evidence, you're gonna rot in jail. Or they're going to give you the electric chair. You have inherited your grandfather's and my collection of strange artifacts. There may be something there that will help you in your quest. Hey, look at this. It's a Cartagrian time door. Ready for this thing. Look! Come out! <laughs> no, Mark! Come out! We did it. Elizabeth, please. Go back to your chamber. Don't be too long, my darling. What happened? You believed in all of this. You possessed your mind. It's here. The book! Sarah, are you all right? I've been looking for you everywhere. Have you got the book? The book? Well, the Loch Ness monster kind of ate it. Shadow to destruct in five seconds. Is that the kid from Gremlins? Face it, Sarah. I don't know. Is it? Stupid story about dead flesh walking. Stop it! People are saying it is. Whoa. Like the, the oh, it's older another kid? David Carradine. I guess there is only. God, David Carradine. What's wrong with this guy? That galley. <laughs> that was a great slap. Oh, there's the guy, the bad guy from Die Hard. May God go with you. I mean. They say a man can last five days. Unless most of the rats get you first. Wait a minute! What a mess you're in. Sir Alfred? Of course it's me. Do you mind telling me what's going on? When you first used Solomon's Locket, Sarah and you have actually stumbled into God's Nintendo game. No. <laughs> yes, where he and the devil made it out, using their various time warriors as different characters, forever trying to oh, tip no. that delicate balance one way or another. You mean God wants me to be a time warrior? Maybe you're one already, Mark. To the death. Remember, it is one of the greatest privileges ever to be chosen as a time warrior. You know, sometimes I think you actually enjoy all this hero stuff. You ain't seen nothing yet. What? All right. At some point, it lost me. And then at the end, it had me. It, like... 
some point I was like, all right, all right, they time travel, whatever. But like when it became God's Nintendo game, I was like, oh, that's freaking cool. It... Wait, who is this actor? I don't know. I I have pretty pretty bad face blindness. That dude looks so familiar. I want to say Jude Law. Ah, it's bugging me. It looks like a... It's not him, but he looks kind of like that little finger guy. But uh, what is that guy from? Bargain, bargain brand Jude Law. Uh, off to IMDb, yes. Uh, uh. Yeah, fill us in. Uh, I well, you would have to look at his at his resume to to know where you know him from, right? Yeah. I might not be able to 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 catch that. That was a lot of people in that though. The the bad guy from Die Hard. Do you know what I caught last night when I was watching that movie? Um rumor has it there's a um a scene in a conference and the character has one line and i go i'm watching it and i'm like holy shit is that the kid from real genius but grown up oh and i sure hated that enough, kid he had really? one line it's so that guy's that, that guy's <laughs> name is martin kemp he looks like a Martin. What? What is? It? Let's see. Uh, no, no. I, I, so, oh, I didn't realize this was Waxwork Two. Yeah, this so is there a was sequel. a Waxwork. Yeah. What the fuck is Waxwork about? Is it sounds it, like is a, it a time travel? No, I think it's about like a wax museum that like everyone comes to life or the things come to life and like kill people. Uh, so it's it's really weird. What a, yeah, what a stretch, man. Oh, okay. I know where I know that guy from. It's another trailer that we watched on Trailer Boys. Wait a second. That's the basis for Spando Ballet. That guy? Yeah. And that guy was also in Aspen Extreme, which we've watched on Trailer Boys. What's Aspen Extreme? Um, it's a movie about Aspen and about uh, it's uh, two skiers from like a, a shitty ski mountain move to Aspen to try and become ski instructors and in one kind of like become successful and kind of uh, um, falls in with the, the rich crowd and kind of becomes like this like mimbo and the other one has a hard time and ends up getting into drugs and stuff. Uh, it's what's his name? Uh, the guy that directed the Friday Night Lights movie. Brian Robbins? Oh no, Friday Night Lights. Uh... Oh, oh. I think I know who you're talking about. Uh, Berg, yeah, Peter Berg. Thanks, Nova Prima Eight. Um, did you give that a point? I gave that a point. Uh, no, I'm not going to give that a point. I don't want to see that movie. And what what did Chat give it, guys? Whoa! Two, two points. I guess I'm in the minority here. So, All right. three points. Sorry. It's a three point movie for. for. wait, wait, shit. I feel like a lot of those points are grandfathered in from Waxwork One. No, but I mean, I think that's, that's the brilliance of that trailer is that, uh. is that it's like. 
it's so like waxwork i think was a movie about like wax figures that come to life and then this movie was about god's nintendo game <laughs> and i guess that's just so fucking like that's such a weird jump to make. That's such a weird thing I mean, to be like. God's Nintendo game looks boring as shit. <laughs> All right. Also, uh, isn't isn't the world already God's Nintendo game? I mean, that's true. the whole thing. True. Uh, depends on what religion you are. R.I.P. Nate. Um, I got I got one. I've talked about this movie on on here before, but I, we've never watched oh, I'm the excited. trailer for this one. Uh, right. Wait. Minneapolis, we are currently heading zero. Two way three five. Turn to heading. My God. Jesus, down. Go down. For Flight 35, we are going down. It was the end. Do not be afraid. Or was it? <laughs> Walk towards the light. What unusual facts have you developed in your investigation? This crash has been crazy from the start. Is there anything odd? Going backwards. I'm afraid I still don't know what you're driving at. I'm simply looking for the inexplicable. I usually find it. You're endangering a project that's bigger than you can imagine. I know damn well we can't change the past. Time travels. They don't want to be found. Then you are from the future. About a thousand years. Sherman, send the gate. Once in a thousand years comes an adventure like this. We've been expecting you. Millennium. <laughs> you know, uh, you, yeah. you, you know a movie's good when it comes with a completely different movie on a DVD. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bring into the bargain bin. It's five dollar bargain bin. Uh, this yeah, won't was get my five dollars, but maybe two movies will get my five dollars. <laughs> I thought that trailer rolled. Uh, I was way into it. It's good when it comes with fucking Rotor. Uh, so uh, one of the funny things about that that movie it has something to do with like saving the future. But I remember one of the things was that in the future you have to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> like that's like they figure out that people have to smoke, and so everyone's like, "Did you have your ration of cigarettes today?" <laughs> I wrote a sketch once that's based on um, the Footloose universe, but instead of not dancing, everyone has to dance all the time. <laughs> And that sounds a lot like, uh, yeah, because how do you enforce that? Yeah. No, yeah, YouTube does really want me to watch Bo Burnham and Zach Galifianakis videos. Um, ooh, 61% nah, that's a one-pointer. A one yeah, I'm not giving it a point. I never said, but I'm not. So that's a two-point a two point for Millennium for, I think... I kept on like trying to like. I was like, "Oh, this one is a uh, who is it? I think it's Flanja." It's like, "Oh, this is Flanja usually does good stuff, and this is a Flanja submitted one." And then it's like, "Oh, someone already submitted that one." Uh, uh, but for Millennium, they finally get it, and it's a two pointer. Wait, what's the deal with nine four six? Or wait, what? What is this color? Is red meaning you've you've already I mean, used it? Someone else has submitted it. Oh, uh, we watched that last week. Nine four six. Okay. All right. Uh, wait, I think. 
No, we watched. Well, it's no, we did not watch this last week. I think someone already submitted it, though. That's what Red is. So uh, let's see if. There's no, there's no description. Oh, we don't have to watch it. I just uh, I think I'm thinking of a different movie. Eight eight nine three submitted it. Hey, look look. Oh no, it's even. Uh, that's before that. That's even before that. All right, it's been submitted three times, so I guess we'll throw it in the machine. Oh. Hey, you got a permit for those guns? I've got your permit right here. All units, we have an ongoing shootout at 24th and North Point Street. I'm on it. The Kung Fu Renegade Cop. I don't want to hear it, Kung Fury. I've just been to City Hall. You just destroyed an entire city block, for Christ's sake. I quit. Now, he must defeat the most evil Kung Fu master in the world. Adolf Hitler, a.k.a. Kung fu -er. Hitler. He's the worst criminal of all time. I need to kill him. I can hack you back in time to Nazi Germany, just like a time machine. Oh no! I went too far back in time. This is the goddamn Viking Age. I'm a cop from the future. I need your help. Unspeakable adventures never before shown in a motion picture. Get ready for Kung Fury. Okay, I yeah, this is kind of my mistake because I knew I recognized it and I couldn't remember how. And um, this is like you know, it's a joke movie. It's like a Channel One Hundred One movie. Yeah. I mean, like, but, like, it's a real movie, right? Well, someone just said it was 30 minutes. It's, oh, it's it, 30 yeah, minutes? I, I, yeah, I think I think we should just, like, not allow this. Uh, is that is that a rule? Can I, can I, uh... <laughs> I'm sure, yeah, it? I mean, I'm sure there's, like... Well, I don't, I don't know. Do I have veto power? Uh... I, I I am like I, I'm definitely gonna say no to to like I'm definitely not giving it points. I'll say no just because like I I feel duped. This you know it's like it's a, it's like a viral trailer that uh, you know I guess Netflix is maybe gonna do it or I also like am like let's let's see what, what's going on. Uh, I I'm just like like the. I don't think the sense of humor is like that like focused has so yeah. much going on that it's like I think it's like I don't think they they get what's like they have confidence in any of their their ideas being too strong, you know. It's not real jokes, it's just sort of like references in a way like Oh, you time you time hacked too hard. Like that's not a joke. That's just like funny language, you know? Yeah, and it's like it's like when you don't give a shit about your script, you write you time hack too far, and then it's like an anti humor kind of thing. Yeah, isn't it funny how we're making fun of how crappy this is? And, it's like, eh. and also, it was yeah. It's just kind of like uh uh. Like a someone who's like 
good with effects, like taking it on as a project to be like, oh, I'm gonna make 100%, this. hundred like... percent. Yeah. But it's yeah, like... it was like it was like some kind of pet project where someone was like really really good at After Effects, and he's like, look, I can do all this weird shit. Yeah, and and I feel like even there, like the the style looked like too polished in a way. It very much reminded me of Channel 101. Like if you if you guys don't know Channel 101, it's uh, let's go to channel101.com. It's a bunch of five minute shows. Me and Sam have done a bunch of them. Ooh. Uh. I'm gonna. I haven't seen the trailer for this movie. I haven't seen this movie in years, but this is a movie that freaking grew up on. If, you, if you're 39 right now, you've probably seen this movie five times. David, what time did you enter the woods? Around eight o'clock. Then what happened? What a cool score. Then I reached this cliff. Yeah, right. It's, it's like a, it's like John Williams sort of like. Frequency patterns in them. I, I know I fell. It's nineteen eighty six, man. Eight years since that night. This is totally Maybe it's more like a hand Zimmer, like. Brother. Take a look at this. A little like yeah, Tangerine Dream, Hans Zimmer kind of. From the mind of a 12 year old boy i mean the the risky business score is like the best fucking thing he's hurt yeah he's calling me his voice keeps calling saying something over and over and over but i can't understand oh it's actually alvin Silvestri. so like yeah oh. he's good makes me like I need to fucking listen to this Sit score down, yeah 100% you have the information I require to complete my mission I have been sent from Baylon to borrow samples of life from different galaxies for study on this planet I chose you why me why not Okay, which way is Fort Lauderdale? I only know what's in your head. You don't know the way from your house to a 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Paul Rubens does the voice, right? Yeah, yeah, it's Pee Wee Herman, yep. Uh... It's very weird that they, like that movie's such a weird movie. So that, that that I feel like that trailer was sort of misrepresentative of like what the movie was because the movie is like almost more gaggy, right? Like, yeah, it started to get uh, uh, into it at the end, where right he's when like, he's doing yeah, dude, psych or whatever he says. He said swing, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, little kid, swing! <laughs> <laughs> no, Paul. No, Paul. <laughs> I gotta take a break and go to a theater. <laughs> um, but, like, based on that trailer, that trailer, I would... I'm giving it a point for sure. I feel like that trailer is better than the movie, and I like the movie. It's weird. The whole trailer is almost entirely from, like, the first half hour of the movie. Right, yeah. But, like, it's weird because we don't even, like, talk about the the real, like, time travel. Th I, you, they kind of touch on it. But the time travel thing is he goes in the woods and he comes out and it's, like, what, ten years later? And he's yeah, been missing for ten years? Yeah, and he's still the years? same. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I really, the, the actor... I think the actor that played the dad was also in the thing and being there. I think. Let me see if I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's just my 
making that up. I mean, those are two amazing movies, and then he followed it up with Flight of the Navigator. Right. Maybe uh, I'm, I, perfect, I might be completely wrong. Perfect trilogy. Uh, so, Rubens, chat went 50 just... 50 on it. What happened? Oh, no. There? It, was, it was a different guy that. Uh, what's, what is this guy from? A guy that looks similar to the guy I was thinking of. Uh, chat. Oh, 50 50? Yeah. Uh, Ty, Ty goes to the runner. That'll be two points. Oh, you're not giving it one? No, no, no. Oh, two no, points the chat from gives it two. Chat. Okay, I'm giving it one. Are you giving it one? Oh, the guy was from the dad. The guy was the dad in the craft. That's right. The dad in this movie was the dad in the craft. The witch movie. Yeah. Um, I'll give it a point. Okay. I like wait, the soundtrack. Is that the wait? Is the craft the one where there's a redhead, a brunette, and a blonde, and they keep, they keep having, uh. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, what's the what's oh shit? What is that one? And the the devil is in it, and he has a party at his mansion. Oh, that's Witches of Eastwick. Oh, okay, all right. The craft is. I've never the, seen the craft. The craft is it's '90s. Fruza Balk, Nev Campbell. Uh, right. Okay. Skeet yeah. Ulrich. All right. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> and it's like uh, sign of the times cast. Yeah, um, and Robin Tunney is the the main girl, Tunney. Skeet's the poor. Yeah, he's totally the poor man's Johnny Depp. I think that's what they build him as for most of his career, and then they're eventually like, his name's Skeet. You know that, right? And we're like, holy shit, what a weird name. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I like Skeet. I don't know what happened to him, but I was into him. He's on, um, was, is, isn't he on, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, what's that fucking show? Oh, uh, uh, someone said Jericho. Is that what he's in? Or isn't he in Riverdale? Oh, is he, in, is he a, like a parent in Riverdale? Oh, the older brother in Flight of the Navigator. I think the older version of the older brother in Flight of the Navigator is the star of the North Shore. Oh, I've never seen that. You never seen the North Shore? Oh, it's like Karate Kid but surfing. Is it a movie or a series? It's a movie. Oh wow! Well, I, I I will check it out. All right, wait. That was a Neamix trailer. So Neamix gets four for Flight of the Navigator. Uh. All right. Cool. All right. Do you have Do you have another one? Do you have one? Oh, I actually I just looked at the list and I feel like it's sort of on theme. If we do, um, oh shit, where did it go? Uh, uh, shit. Oh, there it is. If we do nine oh six, I feel like it's sort of on theme with me being a guest. Okay. It's funny. I just watched. I always get this confused with the Manhattan Project. I, I was watching the Manhattan Project last night. Uh, the series or the movie? The movie. The one about the there teenager. There was that big series, right? About uh, building the nuclear bomb. Oh yeah, yeah. Something that should never have happened has happened again. We're still in Philadelphia. No desert in Philly. It has happened to David Herdick. You boys don't know what state you're in? It has happened to Jimmy Parker. What's the date? The year? Are you kidding? Oh, Robocop. It's 1943. Generator's activated, sir. The next. I think that guy's from Eddie and the Cruisers. It's 1984. Yeah. There's no going back. This is Hurdy. That's him. Now, the truth can't be told. Pick him up. That didn't do anything. Now, the only person he can trust does not trust him. I need you. 
in 1943. Night, Beansy. Navy conducted a series of tests to develop a camouflage system. Later, Beansy. We're cool, right? Visible to enemy radar. I don't believe this. Get some sleep. I didn't think it was possible. No, sir. She's really vanished. She's gone. Today, the Philadelphia experiment is still in progress. It's gonna be hard for Beansy to get some sleep with his two snoring uh, went wrong. roommates. No one I think tell. he moved. We opened up a hole, Barney. Oh, okay. Congrats. Where it could lead, no one dares say. Who is responsible no longer matters. Now, we can't stop it. Well, I believe that you can. He's lying, David. Mr. Galloway, I gotta go. The Philadelphia Experiment. Go! I know he moves one thing. Okay. Michael Pare, Nancy Allen, Bobby DeChico, and 41 years of time and technology are about to draw you into the vortex of the most unique adventure to ever cross the boundaries of the All right, well, enjoy your new place. It'll be good. Philadelphia Experiment. Wow, what, what an ending. Um... So My, Michael Perry yeah. from Eddie and the Cruisers, which we watched last week, and uh, I think also from Streets of Fire, or, what's that movie that, which we were talking about with Ricky? Oh well, he was listening to a bunch of shit that I didn't. I didn't. Uh... I think we were talking about that specific actor with Ricky, where he was saying, "Oh wow, he thought Michael Pere was going to be the next like big, the next Harrison." Oh, Ford. that's the guy he was talking about. That's the guy he was talking about. No way, that's that's Kismet. So the reason I picked this one is because uh, I, I do a conspiracy theory podcast, and the, there was an actual Philadelphia experiment and. They say that like they, there was a time traveling boat or like a, a, a aircraft carrier or something, and when it traveled through time, all the people got stuck like in it, like in the you know how like you could get stuck in a wall if you don't know like what's in the future or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they all like got stuck in this <clears throat> in this ship, and they were like, "What the fuck is this?" So Willie, my my co-host, thinks that this is a disinformation campaign to like distance the reality <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i will say this about this movie it's the first one that we've seen that is um two time periods that we definitely know right because they like, come from the 40s and they go to the 80s so it's like there's no flying cars there's no like super super <laughs> like I thought they were coming tech. from the 80s and going to the 40s. No, no, no. They start in the 40s. They come to oh, the 80s. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, yeah. okay. So they're like, yeah, we don't know what the fuck is going on. And like, all this shit is crazy to us. Um, but I, you know, I, like if I saw this trailer, I, 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 I'll give this trailer a point because I, it, it would, it would, it would get me. Yeah, I mean, I think it has. I, I, I always, I'm, I think Michael Pere is a new like bonus point character, like not for real. Uh, Jack Black <laughs> is a bonus point guy on this show. If you have, a oh, is he really? That has like a a secret Jack Black in it. That doesn't mean like a movie that's starring Jack Black. That means oh, like Airborne or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would get you a bonus point. Um, Michael Pere is my unofficial. Bonus point. Uh, I, we, can, we should we should lock that in, man. I, I feel like, uh, although I don't know how you would but ever then because people he's would so just he's, like look up right, Michael. They Pere would search for it. And, yeah, yeah. Um, but he's so ambiguous or so so sort of like lost to time. I'm not sure you would even know if he had a small part in something. He's been in so much. Wow. He was in a movie called Space Rage. Oh, Space Rage sounds great. I might, I might just watch that tonight. Space Rage. Yeah, back to back. Or, or, oh, he was in Eddie and the Cruisers in 1983, and then Streets of Fire in 1984. Wow. And then what went wrong? Looking through his timeline, where where did he misstep? I, he's still going though. I mean, he was in Gone. It's funny. These I named these two movies that are like. Yeah, I've heard of these movies before tonight, but the movies that they say he's known for are Gone, which I've never heard of, 
The Virgin Suicides, which I don't remember him in. Uh, Hope Floats. That I saw that. That movie sucked. And The Lincoln Lawyer. Oh, wow. Those are like a bunch of boring movies. Yeah. He was just in City of Lies. That's the movie about the Tupac Biggie shooting killings. He was in the TV movie The Philadelphia Experiment in 2012. Oh wow! So that's that's his misstep. He wasn't he wasn't too big to do the TV show based on the movie. Everyone knows if you're in the movie, you don't do the TV show. Yeah, that's you're selling yourself out there. Yeah, uh, I think his misstep was Eddie and the Cruisers Two. Eddie lives. <laughs> I don't know what Eddie and the Cruisers is. It's a weird. It's 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 a movie about a. a a 50s musician 60s musician who uh died and they never found his body and then he comes back or something i don't know it's weird um yeah didn't he f- fake his death in cruisers too i don't know i haven't seen any of them but i i liked the trailer uh i give that a point uh you gave the philadelphia experiment a point I like the trailer. I give it a point. Yeah. Uh, what chat? What do you guys give it? Chat gave it a one. So that's three. Two points. Wait. Yeah, we're getting conflicting information here. These these polls close too I, quickly. I I can look it up, but it'll take me a, a quick sec. All right, so I guess uh, the floor is mine. Yes, fam. Um, uh, what happened with the basketball I like, game? Oh, we lost. The Nuggets lost. I think. Uh, and you know whatever. The Suns are kind of good. But here's what I really want to talk about. I want to talk about uh, uh, time time. Oh shit! What's it called? Time. Oh man, it's Nacho. What's his What's his name? Nacho something. Uh, Time. That, uh... It was a two point movie. So so there's four points total. Time what? Time. What's the What's the Mexican? Uh, it's time something. Time time crime time crimes. Oh, time crimes! I've never seen that. I've heard of that. Time crimes. There's like three of them. Oh, aren't dude. There? Well, they they might have, but like the first one is so it's so good. Uh, it like made me a fan of this director, and then he, yeah, 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 he kind of went on to like do he did like some kind of alien thing where they're like there's a one night stand and they wake up and there's like aliens outside or something. I never watched it, but uh, time time crimes is great. It's really good. It's a your mind will be twisted up. Um, it might be Nacho Vigilando. I'm not sure. Oh, I don't so know that, his last name. I just that was a Hendo Calrissian. Four points for the Philadelphia experiment. Uh, okay, I'm going to wait. Look at the list and pick two more, and I'll pick two more. Oh God! How's, how's well, sound? I'm getting really. But I'm I'll, get, yeah, I'll sure. I'm... I'll submit one before, so you don't feel pressure to. Yeah, I'm just kind of getting bogged down in the, the like, uh, I don't know who submitted what, you know, and I don't want to choose someone who's already... Well, tell me their name and I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to check. Oh, we, we okay, can watch well, the do... WKUK Ethereum token submitted the thing that you were just talking about. Oh, Time Crimes? Yeah. Yeah, let's watch so, it. So, segue over to this one. Uh, I'm going to pee so that I have time to pick my picks.
Cool. That looks cool. So, yeah, no, it's really good. Um, and it's like, a, do you know Magnet, the production company? They like, they're like kind of yeah. Like they're sort of still sort of like a fledgling, but they did mostly horrors. And uh, because this is a foreign film, like that trailer is entirely like dialogue free. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, what do you think? Would you give it a point? Are I'm, we voting on this, or is this a... Uh... I'm, I am interested in seeing that movie on the recommendations, but I'm not giving that trailer a point. I did not think that was a great trailer. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Uh... Now, I, now I gotta, now I gotta go back through it, because I was in the bathroom for, for all of it. Here, I'll turn it down so the chat doesn't have to. Oh, yeah, this does not look like a good trailer. I won't give this a point, because this is, like, nothing like the movie. All right. All right, I got one. All right, uh, 55% no, so it's a one-pointer. Oh, no. Oh, my recommendation. Uh, oh. Let's see. That that was one of these ones. That was WKK Ethereum token. Um, did you give it a point? No. Uh, right. Me? No, I did not. All right. Where the fuck did that go? Uh, alright. Wait, what? There's a... <laughs> oh, oh, this is... Okay. Do this thing for the battle of the universe. You explain this, they leave no trace. We found this. What the hell made that? We have to draw them out of there. You know, we were born for a fight. Countdown to war. <laughs> you look so human. I've seen these dinosaurs. Ah! <laughs> 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 dude. <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm so fucking on board. <laughs> Hell yeah. Somebody help me! The repetition's really helping it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, that's that fucking, fucking dude. Amazing. What's that dude? The guy with the big chin. Not Bruce Campbell. No, no. It's the bigger. He's got, like, steroid chin. Oh, d wait. Do you mean, uh, Hellboy? No, no. Uh, uh, like, he's, like, a, uh, a D-list actor. Robert Zadar. Thank you. Oh, never heard of him. He's in like a lot of bad movies, and I I fucking love that. I'm so fucking giving that a point. That was great. But also, isn't Future War the name of the movie that's coming out soon? Is that what that's called? The Chris, what's his name? Yeah, uh, Pratt. Chris Pratt. Is it Chris Pratt? Pratt? Is he the? Yeah. Oh, Forever War. You're right. You're right. Oh, oh no, okay. Tomorrow War. Tomorrow Dan War. Dan yeah, right. You're right. <clears throat> um, Alright, so shit. I've got to come up with something. I'm giving it a point. You're giving that one point? Yeah, I loved it. I, I would give it, if you want to get down with me. We, you know, we, we haven't, do we haven't done the Wonder Twins yet. We could do the Wonder Twins. I love that so much. I would do Wonder Twins. It's up yeah. to you. I thought that was really good. I'm going to do Wonder Twins on that. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Uh, this could be a perfect if if chat it's it's a little bit under. It could be perfect. I think if we could get one more vote, yes. Ah, no, didn't quite get it. It's the highest of the night, but not a perfect score. Damn. Uh, tied for the highest of the night. Okay. So. Um, I want to do, tell me if this guy has, well, there's no name, so maybe you don't know, but 861. Wait, hold on, let me, that was Future War? Uh, yes. Future. I need to just start doing this. Okay. So anyway. Hold it. Oh, okay, you done? Holden McDickey? Madicky Holden Madicky. Wow, I don't think Holden Madicky has gotten one on here before. And so I think that's so great that Holden Madicky came out strong. Yeah, congrats. Great. And got a fiver. Wait, how do we just Alright, yeah. Holden Madicky got a fiver there. That's great. Good name. Good submission. I'm into you. All right. Uh, what what number were you doing? Okay, I said eight six one, but there's no name, so I don't know. Uh, eight. Six, you probably don't know. One. The Great Noir. I don't think the Great Noir has had one yet. So okay. I'll throw that in there. To the personnel. There's been a security breach. Whoa! Get him! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. There he is! I'm gonna have to catch you some other time! Oh, no. This can't be good! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Where am I? Oh, dude. Oh, this is a full moon. Full moons. 1976! Well. You gotta be kidding me! Time for more fun! I'm into this. What kind this of monster is such a massacre? It's a gingerbread man. A gingerbread man. Time for a little disco dinner, son. Everybody run! This will be a 1976 you'll never forget. <laughs> oh my God! Saturday night, Weaver. Oh my god, what year is this from? Saturday They said night 1996 Fever. in the thing. Is that when it's actually from? Or did uh, he go back? When was this made? Uh, chat. Uh. Listen, I, 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 I love... Here's the, here's the thing I love most about gingerbread man horror movies is like... Gingerbread men are totally flat, but they can't put the person in the costume, so it's it has to be bulbous. <laughs> they and think you're like, like, well, that doesn't look like a gingerbread man. 2011 is what people are saying. 
Oh man. The trailer I said twenty ten. Uh okay. I thought it was fun. It's funny that it's just this thing. It like clearly looked as like, guys, we gotta make this movie. We only have like a room to shoot it in, so like we gotta make the room something like oh what if we made it like a, a disco? Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. The whole thing takes place in a disco. It's like a. Is it a? Oh, sorry, sorry. Is it a disco or is it a roller skating rink? Yeah, yeah. We only have a roller skating rink to to shoot in. God, I love it. I want to watch this. You gotta be kidding me! Man. And it's full moon, right? I'm de I'm definitely yeah. giving it a point. Full moon features. Uh, there are we're we're brought to you by Pluto TV and Full Moon Features, guys. Trailer Boys. <laughs> they do they do some good work. Full Moon. Um, all right. All right. So they got fifty seven. What does that mean? Fifty seven. That's a two pointer. All right. Did um, you give it a that point? Was, that was a fun one. I'll, yeah, this would be a four pointer. I agree right. with this one. Uh. I'm gonna do this one, but wait, is this the first one? Oh no! What? I want to. Someone said this one's for Sam, but it's the person that submitted the last trailer. So uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'll, I'll look at something else. Um. I don't, we could watch it. Well, let's watch it. We don't have to. Should we not vote on it or? No. Well, let me let me just look because there's some people who who haven't we haven't gotten to their. Oh, there's people invested. All right. Even though this is all fake. Yeah. Uh, can you? We... So I need to I need to get one more on deck. Yeah, get one more on deck. Okay. Oh man, this list is so long. Oh, I have one, but it's up. It's up for discussion. All right, I got one. All right. Okay. All right, this looks stupid and fun. I don't think this person. Alright, so this is... Oh, so this is like space. a fake movie. Outer space. Ah, this is a fake movie. Yeah, this is the same as... Meat cop from the future. Kung Fu. Yeah, this is... Are you trying is, to tell uh... me that you're a cop? You look more like the mailman. Or an ice cream truck driver who well, ate yeah, himself Well, yeah, I'm sure they business. made it, but it's like... <laughs> This is like I ironic like tongue in those cheek. Things, space cop. Yeah. Do you even know what hot dogs are made of? Processed horse penis and Chinese people. At least they are in the future. You know what I miss most about the future? What's that? Hot dogs. Jeez. Problematic. We have a problem. Yeah. You boys interested in a private dance? Let's talk about you. Pay no attention to what I'm doing. Aha! I thought I smelled something fishy, and it wasn't your lady clam. Space cop, who Problematic. Was that? Or rather, what the hell was that? An alien. Space cop, are you saying that aliens are real? Why didn't you tell me this? You never asked. Jesus Christ, you're some kind of moron! I have an incoming ship! He's being pursued by the space cops! Space cops. Let's see what some future technology can do. Oh no, porn. Porn ads. I've... 
I think I downloaded a virus. Oh my god, the garbage cans! Oh! Oh! The fucking arm! Space Cop, there's more to solving a case than violence and explosions. I did not think this through. You've got to use your mind and your wits. What? There's a 90% chance that this will work. I don't like those odds. Deal me in. This is solitaire. Let's roll. Yeah, so this is, um, I mean, this is basically, listen, I like these guys, but, um, this is like, oh, it's funny because it's not funny again. It's like, hey, let's write the worst piece of shit in the world and it'd be funny because, uh, it's ironic. Yeah. Yeah, it's ironically bad. And we've seen plenty of genuine bad stuff and, uh. Yeah, it's better when it's, when it's genuine. That's the whole point. Yeah. Like, get rid of the Sharknados. Get rid of these, like, oh, it'll be crazy because it's it's stupid. And so then people will like it. It's like, no, you have to try. And then we'll make fun of you. And then we'll like it. We, we uh, watched a trailer for a movie called the... I think it was The Amazing Bulk. That was, like, a <laughs> shitty... Incredible Hulk knockoff. Uh-huh, yeah. And it was so perfectly bad. It's so fucking amazing. I, that, that sounds great. I mean, that's if I'm getting stoned with, like, a group of friends and I want to watch something, like, that That sounds like what I want to watch. Amazing you know? ball. Yeah, no points. Yeah. No, that got, uh, Space Cop got no points. No, no, no points. You're, you're trying too hard. You're pandering. Uh, Space Cop. Goose. We didn't watch Sharknado. I'm just referencing it because I, I dislike the sci-fi um, trend, the sci-fi channel's trend of like, oh, if we make some shitty fucking movie, people will like like it in the wrong way, and then we'll make money. Uh, do you have another? Oh, I do, but we have to talk about this because the comments say does does stopping time count as time travel? Uh, yeah, I say so. Okay, great, because it's also nine eleven. Okay, this is from Professor Marth. Live. I thought you were gonna do nine fifteen. Hmm. What's nine fifteen? Clop stop. Oh, I Clop. feel like I've heard of that. I wanna I wanna do something that I haven't. I think I might have seen this movie. No way. Oh, it's this Magnolia? What? The time when the demons of regret come for you. It felt like all the oxygen had been sucked from the room. Yeah, I just couldn't fall asleep anymore. I suddenly found I had eight extra hours. My life had been extended by a third. More time to think about Susan. It was getting obvious that I needed to trade some of my time. I give them my extra eight hours. Welcome aboard. And they give me money, cash back. I found that all the people working here had perfected their own individual art. Take Sharon Pinter. Sharon knows rule number one. The clock is the enemy. Barry and Matt are good friends. Between them, they have come up with a very different way of dealing with the trade of their time. I hadn't slept in two weeks. I drifted between imagination and reality. I imagined the remote control for life has been paused.
have to see that it's wrapped in beauty and hidden away between the seconds of your life. If you don't stop for a minute, you might miss it. Brought to you by MushyGushy.com. Oh, yeah. Mushy thank you. Thank you so much, MushyGushy.com. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Brought to you by the yeah, old stanky you. stuff dot com. <laughs> Brought remember, to you by watermelon under your feet. I remember it was fine. I think that trailer's fine. Does anyone else? Oh, it's probably my mouse. I have uh, my mic picks up everything in the room really clearly. What is it? Me? No, it's my. I think it's my mouse. Oh. Um. Here's, here's what I'll say about this. I, I, I'm sort of Someone in chat people. said, holy shit, it's Skateboard Cop. I don't, I don't get it. I mean... No, it's you. How? Well, I, yeah, but how? how, how? Dan Dancy B, how is that Dancy Skateboard B. Cop? Dancy B, who are you? Do we know you? Oh, they're just saying me, not the trailer? Yeah. God, I'm sorry. They're I'm sorry. Saying. I'm so stupid. They're saying you're skateboard. I thought they were right. Right, yeah, yeah it's yeah. me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, back to what I was saying. The internet I'm, skateboard. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of anti-English people at this point. They have they have let me down a lot. And so, an English time travel movie, uh, it's too. It's too. Uh, I don't know. It's too, like serene or or twee or something yeah yeah oh you know what that clicking sound might be is it is it the crickets outside i'm i'm definitely hearing crickets yeah they th i think they're they're at your place i've got the window open and there's crickets outside uh It's much faster, like a fan. Here, I'm gonna try and reset my audio engine just see if maybe that might help. Wait, but it's done. It'll be quiet for just a second. All right. Wait, did you just change your mic? No, I did not. Now I'm getting like a fan from your end. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, I, I think I maybe clicked on something wrong. How, how's it sound now? Sounds good. Okay. All right. I mean, we're, we're, we're getting to the, towards the end. I think you guys can live with it, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. I was clicking on the window, and I clicked on turn on original sound. I don't know what that means. Channel 101, acquaintance, sort of, but here for WKUK later 101. Later 101. Oh, sick. Wait, were, were Channel 101 acquaintances, or your channel, your... A Channel 101. Is this that same, is this that same person? I don't even see Yeah, that. Dancy B. I'm just curious. I thought we had locusts. You, have you heard about like uh, it's not locusts? It's um, what are the bugs that are coming to the to the like Midwest or the South or whatever? Cicadas. Yeah, cicadas. And like the other day, I was watching this movie and I really thought that like they had pumped in a bunch of like cicada sounds, and then I I paused it and it was just it was just some machine. For a second, I was like, holy shit, are cicadas coming to L.A.? Because I've never lived in a place that has this. Did you, did you, did you get them out east? Did you, did you yeah. have to deal with that? When I was a kid, we, we had them. Because they come, like, every how long? Like, I remember when I was in, like, fourth grade or fifth grade, and it was crazy because it was, like, they would just, like, be everywhere, and then there, all of a sudden there would just be cicada carcasses everywhere. Oh, it's fucking horrible. Uh, um, so that was a zero. Cashback got a zero. Yeah, cashback uh, sucks. Let me see. I'm sorry I picked it. I failed you all. 
Yeah, you failed us. I'm sorry, man. That's just a list. I don't know. All right. I'm gonna go with the other one, but it's but guess what? Uh, Marth, someone beat you to the other one that you submitted. So this was submitted by Marth, but also someone else is gonna get the points for this. If there be any. Oh no. In Zack's world, things didn't move fast enough. That's the car I want, Dad. When something's right, you gotta close your eyes, grit your teeth, and hang on. Until he discovered... Let's just say that uh, it were possible to accelerate your molecular structure until the rest of the world seemed as if it were standing still. Hyper time. Whoa. What if you had the power... Hey, Francesca! No. <laughs> Way. To stop the clock. The clock How did you do that? I have no idea. I just pushed this button. So your watch stops time? No. Look, it's moving. I don't think time has stopped. I think we're just moving really fast. That man, your watch is off the hook. <laughs> what are we gonna do next? So yeah, wait, if, funny, if time is slow enough, you can if there was defy physics? Day, yeah, because the water is just moving super slow. Super projects, I I said and watch. You idiot. I'm not Frank, smart enough to Frank get that. I'll Stewart. bet they did their research. No, no. <laughs> I'm sure they did. Want that oh, it's Michael Bean! What of the future? What is going on? Ah! You're running around with something that's not supposed to exist. Was in your hands. Officially freaked out now. Now give me the walker, your hottie here gets it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> French Stewart. There's gotta be something we can do. French Stewart's a national treasure. Oh! Problematic. He should, he should still be working. Let's go. Give me the watcher. You're, you shouldn't walk up to teenagers and call them hotties. You can't stop. Zach, what are you doing? <laughs> Finishing what I came here to do. Yeah, man. This soundtrack is fucking jamming, dude. There's that woman who's always giving me parking tickets. Ooh, oh, you mean the meter maid? Because you're parking illegally? <laughs> There's that woman who's randomly giving me parking tickets. Because <laughs> I'm always parking in those blue spaces. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I loved it. I'm giving this a for sure. And I have a bias, too. Because I, I wrote and directed a Nickelodeon movie, and we did not have that much budget. So, like, I'm jealous of this movie, and I definitely want to see it. Michael Michael Bean is the is the other uh, what was that guy's name Matt Para or whatever. Yeah, Mike, yeah, Mike he's Para. the next. Yeah, uh, uh, Michael Bean. He's the like other the one next of generation of. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love seeing Michael Bean, uh, Michael Para. I love seeing Michael Bean and stuff. Uh, uh, you, you might know him from Terminator, from uh, Aliens. Mandalorian, he's a good dude. I mean, now I got now I got. Oh wait, he's in Mandalorian. Who's he in Mandalorian? Is he one of those stunt casts? He's yeah. He's like uh. There's the episode where they uh. With Rosario Dawson, I think, where the Mandalorian like has to go steal a spear, or something. Oh yeah, yeah. That's one of the best episodes, I think. He's the who's the, who's he in that? He's the guy that the Mandalorian has to fight. Oh really? The like hired gun guy, but for the okay. for the bad lady. I've never actually. I don't. I don't recognize this guy at all. He's he was uh the. You remember Terminator the original? N I mean no, but go on. Oh WKUK Ethereum token, going off. Wow. Oh wait, do we all get do we all get crypto town. now? Uh WKUK Ethereum. Token gifted. It looks like ten subs. Uh, oh yeah, ten subs. That's their three hundred and fortieth gifted in this channel. Coming on strong. Oh yeah, Kyle Reese in the original Terminator. 
And do you remember Aliens? Do you remember that movie Aliens, the second one? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, same same answer. I know of it. I don't remember it. Wow, you should go back and watch both of those. That's like a, I know. a fun night. Uh, Aliens. I know. Wait, you you seriously haven't watched Aliens? Dude, I was never into it. I, t I, I prefaced this early in the episode. I'm not into horror movies. and um, Aliens you know, isn't really just... a horror movie. It's like one of the best action I know that. Movies. I know I, I know that now, but when, when it was around and, and, and available, I was just like... Eh. Well, what, what about Alien? Have you seen Alien? Yeah, yeah, I love Alien. I, you know, Alien's a classic, but but it took no, but it took it took yeah. some time for me to even watch that. You know, but like the, the the one of the great things is that the second one is so different. Like the first one is like a suspense film, and where it's like this slow going thing. The second one's like an action film. The second one is like up there with like yeah. Die Hard and T two. It's like James Cameron. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you, you you sold me on it, and then you and then you took your money back, or you took my money back because I don't I like action movies. I don't really care that much about. I would rather see like a thing than uh than a. Well, I love Die Hard, but like, huh? I mean, well, it's, how do I how do I put this? No, go on. It's just it's just I'm saying it's just like fast paced. It's like, wait, hold on. My brother's calling me. Hey! Oh, does he? Yeah, he wants to sure. guest. We're still on. Oh, cool. How is it? Chat, how is What's it? What's up, Nate? I'll read, I'll read the first comment that's addressed directly to Nate. <laughs> Make it a nice one. Nateless. Great. This is a late episode for you. You guys crushing it? I think so, yeah. What's the best trailer? Oh, we fucking totally crushed it. Uh, there's a lot of good ones. This was like, I, I was giving out a lot of votes. I'm uh, super bummed out because this was the category, the theme that I was super into. There's There was a lot of good stuff. Shit. Uh, Did the full moon have any submissions? Yeah, we just watched a full moon. God damn it, who submitted it? Uh, it was Gingerbread 3. Nice. Who, who, who submitted the full moon? Uh, all right. Uh, should we watch one more? Hold on. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna turn on. I'm the here show. all night. All right, one more, and then we'll while we're doing the the. Can you guys hear Nate? Okay. Should I should I get on Discord? Oh, I can send you an invite to the the um. We're I'm doing over Zoom. Okay. How's oh, is there doing? a bunch of rules that we've been missing? <laughs> Wait, what rules have we been? I don't know. What rules? Oh, I guess I mean I've been saying people's names. Is that against the rules? To like say their name before the trailer's read? No, you know what? It's a tough one because there's bias in the chat, but still, it's like you want to give credit. All right. Uh... All right. Hold on. I'm gonna pull the chat up. Or the the show. Uh, I, I told Chad that it would probably be a good show because uh, you guys are funny. Wait, did we did we ever vote on the uh, the last one? Because I would vote for it just because of Blink One Eighty Two. But if they if they pulled that rug and didn't use Blink One Eighty Two in the actual movie, then I would feel bamboozled. All right, true. Did you choose a theme for next week yet? No. Wait, did, did I'm having to come. What, what are you doing? Huh? I'm, I'm obviously I'm having two conversations here, Dave. So. Do you want me to get on Zoom? Yeah. Okay. Uh, hold on. So I don't understand. He couldn't. He couldn't do the show because it has. He's at his buddies, but he could do it two hours later. I guess so. I don't know. All right, I sent you the invite. Come Just on, saying. screw up our windows. <laughs> yeah, really fuck it up. Maybe. All right, hold on. Uh, 
I like how I've immediately staked ownership over this. Like I'm I'm talking shit about the real dude and I and I'm just a substitution. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see if he Alright, here he is. Give me a second to to resize some stuff. I can't hear you. I don't know why you can't hear me. What up? What's up, man? Can you hear me? What up, Wade? How are you? Good, man. How you doing? Hey, what happened to your hand? Did you already answer this? I, I no, no one's asked. Uh, I, dude, it's I, I knew fucking... beforehand. I got, I got, I was golfing and I hit it really fat and it broke my fucking hand. Uh, you insane. Hit the ball? I hit the fucking ground really hard. You golf, right? Ooh, that's crazy. Totally. Insane. I've never hit the ground golfing. Come on, you gotta hit the ground golfing. That's how you get the spin. Um, let's let's uh pick pick one more. Oh wait, uh, well, does Nate have access to it or? Wait, hold on. For this one, you give yeah, zero. you pick it. Uh, what did the chat give? Uh, clock stoppers. Oh, Sucking that was Sally says play mine. That was directed by Jonathan Frakes. Who's that? He played Data from Next Generation. No way! Right? I, no, no I thought way. I thought Jonathan Frakes was number two. No, he was number two. You're right. You're right. Oh, okay. Because the guy who played Data hit on our friend in a really weird way. Oh yeah, that was weird. Oh, um, Sophie Quest is raiding you at the party at the 30, Sam. Whoa, Sophie Quest! Thank you, Sophie. Sophie Quest. I don't have oh, a, a raid video. I don't have a raid video, but I can make up a song. Thank you, Sophie Quest. Cha-cha. Thank you, Sophie Quest. Cha-cha. Thank you, Sophie Quest. You are the best. You just made that up on the spot. That's crazy. Uh, we end, yeah, it ended with that Ewok song from Return of the Jedi. Uh, <laughs> wub wub. Nub, nub. Da, 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 da. Ba, it did, wait, it did sound like Fraggle Rock. Down in Fraggle Rock. That's a Fraggle Rock song. No, no. <laughs> You guys know what I'm talking about at the end of Return of Je Jedi. Well, they're getting medals and shit. They're no, Before no. That. At the end, they're 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 burning Darth Vader, and they go da 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 cha cha da 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 cha cha da 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 da, and then da, it goes da 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 da. It's yub nub. So yeah, if uh, you don't do the song every time there's a raid now. I will always so, come up with a weird song. Yeah, do it every time. Raid. Um, wait, quick chat. What was what was uh, clocks? Yeah, now everybody wants to hear Brett Spiner story. Clock I don't know this. I don't know the story. He was just. Oh, it was I, at, I like, was there. Comic Con or something, and oh, oh tell it then. Uh, so that was a four pointer clock because you gave clock stoppers a point, right? I love clock stoppers. I'm super into it. All right, so that was punished anus gets four points oh, for clock stoppers. That's punished our boy, anus. punished anus. Uh, ooh, I like boner honk farts in submission here. Uh, but uh, so really quick, uh, basically <laughs> it was we had a friend who was really excited to get Brent Spiner's autograph, and he was like, "Hey, let's like uh, Mike." He was like, "Oh, we gotta go. We gotta." Uh, get Brent Spiner's autograph account. So we waited in this line. It was like not that long of a line either. And <laughs> we get to the front and we're getting his autograph and there's like five of us and he's basically like to another friend of ours, he just goes like, Who are you? What are you doing here? And like singled out our friend and was like, ooh, tell me, like, started being, like, creepy and, like, very, like... Like, he pushed everyone else aside? 
Yeah, like, no, he like barreled through the room and just zoomed in on, on our friend. That's not true. Uh, but like, and it was funny because we had one friend who was like, oh my God, Brent's back, like trying to like hang on every word. But while he like got like very creepy with another friend of ours, who's like, what are you doing here? What are you doing later? That kind of thing. Uh, I mean, God bless him, right? I mean, you, 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 you're on Star Trek or whatever. You got to fucking, you got to uh, 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 hit where the heat is. What's that phrase? What's strike the, when the strike. iron's hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you like that hit that pussy when it's wet. Is that the phrase? Yeah, it's like if that pussy hasn't dried up from all my heat, <laughs> I got to get in there. All right, so. <laughs> Here's the thing: is is uh, Professor Marth, you're you're asking me to to uh, watch uh, Sally's video. Sally, the, is it the one that Professor Marth also submitted, but before yours? Ooh! How? Uh, oh shit! Am I? Are you gonna? Are you are you going to to <laughs> to uh, unsubmit the one that you submitted before hers or? All right, we'll just watch it. You guys tell us who gets the point. Oh, wait, but you got to read this Why Does Kids You Know skit idea because uh, it's like a paragraph long and okay. like, you're definitely still making that show. <laughs> I have an idea for Why Does Kids You Know skit. Okay, so two old boys are uh, pissing off a bridge. One of them old boys is from Arkansas, and the other old boy is from Texas. The feller from Texas says, the water sure is cold. The boy from Arkansas says, yeah, and it's real deep, too. And then maybe somebody farts or makes a dick joke or something. I'll leave that up to you. It's, it's like you're in the writer's room. Oh man, we should workshop this a little bit because uh, this is an old street joke, and um, <laughs> there's got to be a way to turn it on its head. Like we do at Rick and Morty, like we can turn this on its head. Like um, his dick is so long that um, he can't go to work anymore or something, and like he's on unemployment. Is that funny? Or they're getting they're getting blowjobs from fishes. Oh, uh, yeah, how about that? His dick is so long that he can only get blowjobs from fishes. But, like, whales. Excuse because they're me. the only ones with mouths. Fishies. From fishies. All credit, oh. all credit to Garlic Broth. Don't forget. Yes. Oh, yeah, no, we gotta get him. We gotta get him his money. We're definitely gonna make a bunch of money on this idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we are going to rip that guy off. Uh, and take all the money. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no trademark on jokes. We're stealing that shit. Yeah, this is our channel. We'll take it. That's what we like to do. We like <laughs> to steal. We're what you call joke thieves. Oh wait. Inside wait, this is the same thing. This is the same thing. I don't know. My why. favorite movie. I don't know why it didn't work. Wait, give me a second. I'm gonna... Oh, I should tell you, someone asked what my movie was that I did for Nickelodeon. It was called Terry the Tomboy. Don't hate me. Uh, we did our best. Wait, Don't... I'm not in the... I'm going to have to watch it on the stream. Oh, I, I put it in chat. I put the, the thing in chat if you want to click in. Hold on. I do. Let me see. Hitting the apps. Uh, again... Thank you for the raid. That's very nice. Um, it's very cool. It's very cool. What is the Wade Davis? I don't know what the Wade Davis. Davis bill is. I don't think I wrote for it. I'm, I, who knows? I don't see the, the, the link. In Discord chat? No, in the Zoom chat that we're in. Oh, uh, I'm on two different devices. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, hold on. I'll, I'll put it... I'll put it in. I'll put it in. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, chat. 
The way it was where we heard it. Oh, this is a law thing? <laughs> what? What you? Oh man, I don't even want to get into this. This is like some crazy stuff. I did. I was a part of the Roe versus Wade um, <laughs> law, and I was like, <laughs> overturn it. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about it. you're very anti that law. Mostly because I, I don't like my name being associated with it. You know. All right, you guys ready? I'm here. I'm, I'm here. pro life. By this the way, this is the last one of the night. You're pro life. This is it. Um, the oh anti shit! No, I'm pro choice. I'm pro choice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, the trailer started. Out. They'll never hear me. Mostly <laughs> because I, I don't like my name. <laughs> In a machine constructed for that very purpose. The first to use the machine, however, is Dr. John Leslie Stevenson. <laughs> better known to history as Jack the Ripper. And what was to be a voyage of dis- is 1893, <laughs> and novelist and inventor H.G. Wells makes a startling announcement. Gentlemen, I am talking about traveling through time in a machine constructed is that Malcolm McDowell? very purpose. Yes. The first to use the machine, however, is Dr. John Leslie Stevenson. <laughs> better known to history as Jack the Ripper. And what was to be a voyage of discovery in an instant Same becomes shot. a manhunt through time from 19th century England to 20th century San Francisco. May I come in? Certainly, sir. You were literally the last person on earth I expected to see. You've given me quite a turn. I'm obliged to take you back to face the consequences of your acts. Who we'll plays Jack the Ripper? Ripper. That's the scenario of you. Reasonable, John. We don't that guy? Here. No. <laughs> That's Malcolm McDowell and the other guy. A 19th century gentleman. Are you quite certain I'm not forcing you to do anything that you're requesting me? And a 20th century woman. David uh, Warner? What is that Andy like McDowell? Andy says. And what, what is he That's from, though? Join forces to capture a criminal from the past. Is it Mary Steenburgen? In the modern world. Oh, Mary Steenburgen, yeah. But even more than they want yeah. him, he needs them. Oh, wow. You throw me the key, and I'll release the girl. On your honor, is that Ted Danson's wife? Word as a gentleman. Now, I love Mary Steenburgen. I would have expected that you'd notice by now that I am not a gentleman. Say goodbye. Goodbye, Herbert. You haven't instructed him in the use of one of these machines, have you? Who also is in another famous time travel movie that we talked about earlier, Back to the Future 3. HG, it's checkmate, and you've lost again. And the one I was confused for, for is uh, Groundhog Day. And across uh, Andy same McDowell. shot. They use that shot three times. Time after time. I can't. I can't get into anything that you get. You, you're making a trailer. You've got two hours worth of stuff to choose, and you use the same shot three times. Nah. I'm out. I thought it was cool. I've never even yeah. heard of that movie before. But All right, I, you, um, you know what? Who's that guy from? I, I got it. I got it. Okay. He's from Tron. No, that's him. He's the bad Sick. guy from Tron. I mean, I guess. Sick. The. I remember yeah. him being more. Is the MCP formidable. or uh, what's his the name in Tron? It's not MCP. The, that that's I guess that's the head bad guy, but that that's the guy that like he's the 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 leader of the thing. Um, he's got a cool name though, right? Ront. Panel said Ron. I like that. I like Ron. <laughs> uh, Ron. Uh, um, I think I liked it. Uh, I will say though that like the. There was, it seemed like there was four moments 
where the bad guy from Tron had Mary Steenburgen and was like, I'd beat you again, H.G. Wells. And then, like, they did, like, the same thing in, like, another setting. Like, it's like, ah, yeah. too slow for me, H.G. It's not even, like, a different character. It's, like, the same character that he's holding at knife point. That was cool, though. I, I, I ate it on the level of H.G. Wells. He was not a scientist. He was just a fiction writer. He couldn't make up a time machine just because he <laughs> wrote about one. He did make up a time machine. Well, yeah, but so did he, I. He made you know, it when up. I was ten. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like how Mary Steenburgen just kept kept getting in the same. You know, when's she gonna learn to stop trusting Jack the Ripper? <laughs> <laughs> also, what time is she from? She must be from that time, right? And she just yeah. doesn't know. Did you guys watch Back to the Future Three? No, or the movie? Yeah, yeah I've seen it before on this the trailer. show. No, no, we did not. We talked no, about no, it no, as no. an example of a bad movie. Well, because well, you brought it up that she was in that, and I was like, oh yeah. And then like the scene in my head is that scene in the end of the movie with the two kids and they're named Jules and Vern, and the uh, kid is doing this and he's like pointing at his. Pointing dick. To you his guys dick. seen that? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I've, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think that That's was like. Have you have moves. you heard of Have you heard of the uh, the uh, 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 Teen Wolf, where there's a guy who like takes his pants off during the, the he's like in the audience of the basketball and they're all celebrating. And he like takes his pants off. No. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There, no, there's like a guy, and so it's like it's like that where it's just like, oh, why is this kid like pointing to his dick, like some weird <laughs> nervous tick? But this guy is just like. Yeah, 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 I'm going to take my pants off during this shot. And, like, nobody caught it. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, I, would, I would watch that movie. I would, I would watch that movie. Also, I feel there's another movie called Time After Time. It's a Cindy Lauper song. Cindy Lauper. Oh, uh, maybe the best <laughs> Cindy Lauper song? <laughs> um... Let's see. All right, so what do you guys give time after time? I don't get yeah, a vote. I'm not going to give it anything. I, I I don't get a vote, but if I did, I would. What uh, what did Chad give it? You guys already All right, well, this. I'll respect you. I will respect Nate and give it a vote because I'm the surrogate. I'm just slutty with votes, though. One point. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Someone tell me what it got from chat. Not like what you personally think. It got sixty three percent. What is that? Or no, no, no that's, that's my not that's two different. points. No, no, but that was just would you trust Jack the Ripper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm it sorry. got it got two points apparently. Uh, all right. Who's getting that, Martha or, or or Sally? I guess they get to choose. Yeah, they. You guys get to yeah. choose. Arthur's on the leaderboard, though, so his points could help him. Let's give it to Sally. Like, fuck right. the patriarch. Okay, yeah. All right. That's a good call. All right, so two points from chat. Wade, what do you give it? Oh, um, I, I, uh, well, I give it I give it one because Nate did. <laughs> Thank so you, you, Wade. So you all, all yeah. get So it's four? I, well, I don't yeah. get a vote. I, I'm giving you my vote. No. Oh, I was doing that. Oh, okay. Um, then I give it both the points. <laughs> yeah. That's, you that, was that was a weird right, movie. That was a weird movie. I My thing is, the movies I like are movies where it's like people I know, like I recognize as actors, but I've never seen the movie. And it looks bad. Those are my three things. Dude, you would have... Uh, Wade did not give... Instant becomes a time. time. So, it's also a really hard one to do this because like... Fucking every fucking trailer has time in it. <laughs> every trailer, it's like uh, time travelers, time yeah, but wars. I, but time. I, just, I have a very, I have a very specific idea of my time travel movies, and none of them are in the past. I just want future. Like I don't care about period pieces. I, that's that's boring shit. Time Rider, you did not give a point to, but Nate definitely would have given a point to. It had uh, time, yeah, time. Was the yeah. romance in it? Because my favorite time travel movies are 
our time romance. I mean, there was a part where no. where I don't think there was. Wrong. Sorry, Nate has just has like a brain thing that makes him talk <laughs> slow sometimes. Uh, Nate, uh, it, he's actually a robot. What's that guy's name from uh, um, uh, Tremors? Not Kevin Bacon, but the other guy, Fred Ward. This Fred Durst. T- Time Riders had that guy, Fred Ward, I think, right? Fred Ward. Uh, it had that guy traveling back to the old west. It had a woman holding him at gunpoint and tell he travels back to the old west on a dirt bike, a time traveling dirt bike. And then uh, yeah. there's a woman who holds him at gunpoint and tells him to take his clothes off. But also, wait, wait, that's not the best part. The best part is the cowboys going like he jumped on the bike in a weird way, and they started up, and then the guy like zooms off. And, like, gets and you hurt. didn't give it a point? Yeah, he did I didn't not give it a give point. It, a point. No. it looked really Sounds good. Sounds cool to me. But we I just... feel I've seen the poster in my head. Yeah. The I... poster looks like um, it's like a face on of the guy in the motorcycle, and it has that kind of like retro wave kind the, of like, vapor gar- wave. There's a lot of vapor waves. What's in your tonight. head is way better than whatever the poster was. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of vapor wave tonight, Nate. That's my favorite kind of wave. <laughs> oh, me too. Um, I'm not a surfer. I'm not an internet guy. All my waves are vapor all right, waves. Wait, guys, one just jumped. Did did Wheel of Money? Did we watch a Wheel of Money? I don't know. We watched Chasing Christmas. Ugh. No, we we watched a Wheel of Money, right? Yeah. There, I I got one more trailer that just jumped out at me. This is like Let's this is my it. jam. All right. This I, it fits in the theme of what we were just talking about. Is I feel like I I don't know you know like Wade's politics are gonna kind of come out here a little bit. Yeah, I'm like super alt right though. Doing here. Looks kind of lost. Yeah, like he's looking for something. Probably a no good drifter. A no good drifter? Maybe a wandering Samaritan to bring love and peace to us all. <laughs> Probably a no good drifter. A no good drifter? Maybe a wondering that thing that will stun you. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing I can review it. Just off. giving away the twist. Like, look it out! Like there's something more to your story than just bumming around. I figure. Is that one of the We're Dukes of Hazard? I think so. Yeah. Come on, no way. I hope we're not about to do something crazy. Children are a miracle, a gift from God. It's your duty to look after them good. Everybody wants to fulfill their God-given talents. You got responsibilities, girl. Losing me, losing me. Oh, fuck you, Sam. The devil this is one of your movies, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't submit that. Wait, what? Did Sam write this movie? No. No, it was, Sam's Sam lane is, is Christian. Movie. Oh, okay. Is it a Christian thing? trying to check you out. Nobody knows nothing about you, Sam. You don't know what Oh, I yeah, I know that. I know all that I need to know. It's the guy from Goonies. Yeah. I just want to thank you as a family for what you did yesterday. Yeah, look. Yeah, Emilio Estevez looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this town is full of crazy people. You look like you've seen a ghost. Maybe I have. Good, good life to what millions. What sort of a life would he have to look forward to, everyone? Oh, uh, you guys know how you see a movie and then like a bunch of people race from the dead? I think I'm falling in love with you, Mr. Doonby. Sam Doonby, the man from nowhere. This used to be a nice quiet town till you showed up. My future is the next second, Laura. You see it? The crossroads. Doonby. Is there only one scene of them in a diner? They just kept cutting back to that one scene of them in a diner. It got a faith-friendly rating, though. Ages 12 plus. And 
Ernie Hudson's in it. I did not see him in the trailer. Oh, yeah. They don't want to see him. Off their uh, viewer base. Wait. They but, didn't want the yeah. They want the Christian racists to turn it off immediately. Did you guys get what this movie was about? Can someone? You guys were talking through no. it. No. I have no idea what it was about. All right, I'm gonna watch this again because you guys were talking. This time, shut up. Um, what are you geez, talking about? You were talking all... just as much as we were. <laughs> what like was this? More your story than just bumming around. I figure that was the best part of the movie. That we're supposed to enjoy every moment and try to make a difference. So he's like a Buddhist. We're not about to do something crazy. Children are a miracle, a gift from God. It's your duty to look after them good. Everybody wants Thinking to about fulfill their God given abortion. Oh, sorry. I think I paused it accidentally. God damn it. Sorry. Everything went to talent. shit when you joined. You got responsibilities, girl. It's, well, you know, it's better than starting from shit. <laughs> <I'm hosting. coughs> the devil's after you. God damn it. Who is this white knight? <laughs> Doombie. Doombie. So wait, is Doombie a kid that was aborted? We've been trying to check you out. Nobody knows nothing about you. I thought Doombie was the main guy. I know. Is that yeah. Charlie Daniels? I thought Doombie was the town. No, Doombie's the guy. Oh, Doombie I could be the to town. You as a family for what you did yesterday. Hey, don't look Touch me! Yeah, he's no, the it's guy. Is full of crazy. You look like you've seen a ghost. Maybe I have. I don't understand the time travel. What sort of a life would he have to look forward to anyway? I think I'm falling <laughs> in love with you, Mr. Doonby. Torkin says this movie is a failed abortion. <laughs> Used to be a nice, quiet town. Uh, literally, I think. My future is the next second, Laura. You see it there, it went. What is the time travel? Did anyone catch the time travel? I think he was the aborted. I think he was the aborted no. kid. No, no. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. I love that. I love that. That Professor Marth said, "Doomby is somehow even a dumber name than Gooby." Well, I don't know why you're punching down on Gooby. Uh, the the bear movie Gooby, not the one on one thing. Electric Dugong says that's Joe Estevez, not Martin Sheen. Mind fucking blown. Oh, wait, is there right. a third? There's a third brother? Or oh, is that it's is Martin that Estevez's Sheen. real dad? It's Martin, Martin Sheen. Sheen. It's, it's, it's Martin Sheen's Estevez's brother. Uncle. Yeah. yeah. Whoa, he looks exactly like him. Why Why do uh, Estevez and uh, Charlie Sheen look so different? Because if the Martin Sheen gene is, is to be believed, they look exactly like each other. I you mean, should see uh, Mighty Ducks Game Changers. Oh, I've seen it. <laughs> oh, have you? Right. But oh, yeah. Estevez looks like Martin Sheen, like... He's, he's really bridging the gap. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. We watched Free Jack earlier. That was a trailer that we watched. Uh, oh, yeah. Estevez was in that. Is that the one with uh, Mick Jagger? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. We get, we got to wrap this up. This has been going on for a while. Uh, what's okay. next? Or what's the trailer of the week? Who won? All right, let's. Uh, uh, here's the scores we got. I think we got two fivers. Future War and Free Jack. And oh, then, you got to make the poll. I can't make a poll. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we could make the poll. Or, well, Nate hasn't seen it though. All right, wait. How many do we have here? Uh, it's okay. Wait, I'll one. Watch. Two, three, I was gonna, I was gonna make you the tiebreaker, four, but you haven't seen it, five, so it would be six, seven. We have seven fours. So Nate, you have to help us pick, pick four of these. You can only have six or five choices. Five. All right. So you have to pick three of these seven. All right. Philadelphia Experiment. 
Uh, Gingerbread Bread Man 3. That's the full moon one. Oh, yeah, dude. Adventures. I don't want to... I don't want to bias you, but fucking Gingerbread Man 3. Adventures in Dinosaur City. That one was fucking amazing. Uh, We're Back a Dinosaur Story. That's that cartoon. Uh, Clock yeah. Stoppers. That was a good one. Time After Time You Very Saw. Good. Flight of the Navigator. Yeah, and Flight of the Navigator. All right. I'm going to say, and I get to choose three. Yeah. I'm going to say Flight of the Navigator, the Weird Adventures one. Weird. And what was the first one? Adventures of Dinosaur City. Adventures in Dinosaur City and Philadelphia Experiment? No, what was the second one? Gingerbread Man 3? That one. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Wait. So the poll is Free Jack Future War. Uh, don't do the poll that's in there right now. It's Free Jack Future War. Who says that Flight of the Navigator didn't have time travel? But I thought it did. It does. No, it 100 percent does. Yeah. Maybe the trailer didn't, but like the movie does. But I, I don't remember the trailer that much. We're, oh, we're doing it? trailers. Get rid of. I know my predisposition well, for like history. Well, no, no, it explains it's Ginger Deadman three. Ginger Deadman three. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. Oh, Ginger Deadman. Oh, see, okay. someone someone says that it does. I thought the trailer implied that there was time. Tra it, it did. It said in the beginning that like he like came out of the woods and like they're like what happened for the last. All right. Wheel of Money says Matrix was my best submission, so of course it didn't get picked. All right. Well, re resubmit it under a different uh, uh, genre. I was gonna I was gonna watch. Oh, oh we watched Doomby and. Wheel of Money. If you have a if you have a submission that you really want to be in there, you should put like watch this one. Like start it with that. Watch this one in the description. We'll see that. Or don't submit no, everyone a million. Should, everyone but watch this one. In there. No, no. But like, <laughs> it, yeah. If you do it for all your trail, like say you submit like ten trailers, and you have to, in your description. You know, make that like the one you really want us to to look at stand out. Something or or yeah, or rank them or something because like we're just scrolling through and going like, well, this person submitted a bunch, so I'm just gonna go by like uh, what the what the uh, description is. And I, I'm not saying like like out of like the list of everything. I'm saying out of the list of yours, you want your the one you want to stand out to stand out. Uh, I, yeah, and I, I really, Sam, I don't want to tell you how to run your show, Sam and Nate, but, like, maybe limit it as one submission a, a person? Is that too much? Some people are better at this than others, though. So, like, one person could have five, like, five-star submissions, and then somebody could have, like, ten zero stars. You know who you are. All right. Can you see my breathe right? Your what? My breathe right strip. No, it's totally invisible. All right. New poll. Also, those things are not, they don't do anything. Just get a CPAP machine, just bite the bullet. I know, I'm not at home though, so my CPAP is like a suitcase of a fucking machine. <laughs> no, you actually have one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah the app sneers. How tall are you? You don't seem like a big enough guy. I'm wicked fat. No, you're not. I've seen you. You're not. 
Don't do that uh, to you. And then what was the last one? Flight of Navigator. I am at a brothel, can't you tell? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah all here's the decorations. Yeah. Here's the official poll. All right, so uh, themes for next week. What do you guys think? You know what I liked is uh, Body Swap uh, Curse. Body Swap slash Curse movie. Yeah. I mean, that's a great one. Is there enough? Yeah. I mean, there, there's, you know, we were talking about one earlier tonight. That drag, finds a way. Dra drag me to hell. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, well, spoiler. I didn't know that. Uh huh. Oh, son next Sunday's Father's Day. So, Bad Fathers. Ooh, we bad have some bad fathers shut it down. Yeah, you could do like stepfathers. Oh wait, I shouldn't tell them what to submit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad dad. You can. We did a we we did a, a bad mom's Mother's Day one and it was actually really good. I, I was like, I don't know if there's a lot of movies like this and yeah. I was surprised. Yeah, we gotta do bad dads and uh here's the thing. Uh uh Nate and I can't have our dad on. He's dead. He's the worst dad. <laughs> He's the worst. You think There's you're... nothing worse than a dead dad. Yeah. <laughs> you think your dad didn't show up? <laughs> our, <laughs> our dad did not show up hardcore. You know what a good one is? Is uh, it's, I think it's called Father's Day, and it's um, um. Hey, uh, Somniferous. Fuck you. Go to the cemetery. Guess what? His body was lost at sea. There isn't even a, a fucking grave we can go to. He's not buried anywhere. Lost at sea. Yeah. He's in a plane I crash. Think it's, I think ocean. it's uh, it's Robin Williams and uh, oh, Billy number Crystal. One dad. World's greatest dad. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. it's Robin Williams, Billy Crystal. It's called Father's uh, Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. Yeah. yeah, I think like Sugar Ray's in that or something, or like the Mighty Mighty Boston. Oh, well, like, I know yeah. that Mel Gibson is in it as like a weird cameo where he has piercings everywhere. It was before Mel Gibson became problematic. <laughs> That's sick. So yeah, I think we, we don't even have to vote this week. I think uh, Bad Dads, in honor of our Bad Dad. Included, but it's like, are there a lot of like good father movies? No, Are because they... if there was a good father movie, it would be boring as shit. Guys, hey, father let me take bride. you to the baseball game. So Pan Wilson's says Father of the Bride. And father of the Bride is a, is a good father movie. But oh, is the shit. You fucking watch... zinged me. I don't want to watch the trailer. Yeah. But for Father of the Bride, that's probably a shit trailer. Oh, Taken. Well, yeah, it's a good... Yeah. Taken's a good dad. No, but those are... Okay. All right. All right, let's Taken just do and Father of the Bride. But, like, <laughs> I want to lean towards Bad Dads. Yeah. Ghost Dad. Is there, a bad, is there a Bad Dad movie? Did they do that? Like, they did Bad Teacher. They did Bad Grandpa. They, they did Bad, bad Moms. Dad? They did Bad Moms. There, there ha has to be a movie called Stepfather, where he's, like, a, actually, like, a bad dude, right? Like, there's no way that hasn't been made. Oh no! Yeah, well, there, there no, was it multiple. Was made. It was Will Ferrell and uh, Mark Wahlberg. No, no, no. There was a movie called Stepfather with uh, Terry O'Quinn from Lost. What? Who is There's he in Lost? Five stepfather, uh, John Locke. Wait, why is there five? Is it a horror? Yeah, it's a horror. Oh okay. All right, so we're giving you guys some, uh, some some brain juice. Did you guys delete the cum bucket? No. Uh, it's no, that, that I think, we changed I think the Twitch prefix. Hmm. We changed the prefix to WKUK. Is that what you're thinking? It got removed. I what? Yeah, it got removed. I saw some people complaining that it's like not around anymore. All right. Well, it's going to be back and it's going to have a different name. All right, can I can I get out of here? Are we done? Is uh, it? Yeah, 
Yeah, this is it, guys. I, I'll stick around. I'll stick around it's if we're gonna Twitch. keep going. It's gone. Yeah, it's, it's Twitch. Wait, wait. Guess what? You're an official trailer boy now. Yeah, man. I I'm so excited to be an official trailer boy. Um, finally, I made it. And we don't we don't I'm gonna be able to this bullshit like the newsboys. Okay, you come yeah, on the show. You're a trailer boy. Yes. Yeah. We're inclusive. We appreciate the work my rent done. now because of all the money we've made on this. There we go. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I didn't do a raid, but uh, I, it's too late for me to do marbles. I'm going to raid someone who's doing marbles. Or we could raid Ry Linus Tech Tips, who's doing Beat Sabers. Uh, no, I wouldn't... I want to do a. This has been a crazy weekend of me hanging out with you guys. Thanks for. Yeah, man, you put the patient. fucking channel on your shoulders. You did every show this week. Yes, Just... congratulations, Sam. And I, I'm not saying that um, uh, 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 sarcastically. Um, I think you did a really good job this yeah. weekend. Good job. Thank you. My phone's gonna die, so it was great seeing you guys. Bye, chat. Great Good to see, see you, man. You. Let's bowl. Let's bowl when you're out here, and I fix this fucking bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. I can't wait till we can bowl again. All right, man. Well, let's golf again as well. Let's golf also. I'll show you how to swing without hurting your hand. I know how to. My swing is good. I bet. I bet you have a better swing than Nate does. Yeah, I guarantee you that I do. I could teach that guy something. I'm sure. All right, I'm going to find someone really sketchy who's doing marbles on stream. That's, like, my favorite thing to do. Oh, just some weird, some weirdo who's, like, probably in the, I don't want to say pedophilia, but, like, maybe? <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't have to square my shoulders, you guys. It's, it's... I... It, it. I just it was above it was above my feet and it was a freak accident. Ah, I feel stupid about it. All right, let's see. Who looks weird? Can't wait for what weirdos you guys are gonna have to watch. Oh, have you seen have you seen a good raid before? I've never. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't know any of this. All right. Uh, here's. Dumb Girl Summer. She's got five followers, so uh, this should be fun. Uh, this better not be a Rick and Morty reference. Or, or, oh, 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 she, that's the, the stream she's doing is Dumb Girl Summer. Her name is Larissa Ology. Okay, uh, cool. Let's see. Is there a, uh, is there a raid? What, what? Is there a message that you're supposed to say when you jump in? No, we just we just raid him. We just oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Uh... Well, Rinsa, she's got five people, so we're definitely gonna make it more. Uh, so uh, thanks, guys, so much. This has been Trailer Boys. Uh, have fun. Uh, oh, wait, planes. listen, hang on. I'm not writing for Rick and Morty anymore. It got bad when I stopped. <laughs> on record. That's on record. All right, close the show. I'm sorry. <laughs>